<laughs> so we oh are we done are we, are we, we all right all right cool um yeah uh so uh where we last left off uh you all were at the chow's farmhouse you had just defeated um the forces of this machine army that were plaguing on the Charles farm um you encountered these this legion of uh of subalterns <laughs> and wandered to the Charles farm for whatever reason that whatever reason you soon found out was a malfunctioning compcon unit um what you found out from this compcon unit is that it was carrying an old union message an old union signature and when i talk about old union it was old union almost in a different language um when you interacted with it i believe it was you kanya who um begrudgingly uh was the uh, one made to interact with it it projected a signal uh that you could uh, understand was broadcasted far and wide um almost and uh, presumably reaching evergreen itself and most definitely the great towns um, it was a signal that um, was somewhat of a, of, of a threat. Um, in the end, it says, um, you are all safe. Uh, I am peace. Union is here. And uh, you would get the sense that that's what uh, resonated with um, uh, or resonate with the folks who um, are potentially hearing this or reading this, uh, this signal. And so that's where we will pick up as you are at the far Charles Charles farmhouse um Maggie Chow and Wei uh Wei Li Chow I believe um have just gathered their son Albert and Albert's family and uh are making their way from the farm um leaving the destruction in the battlefield that you all uh left um to go to one of um uh one of the uh gray to uh, seek a little bit of shelter um, and you all are here, and I believe um, you all are bringing back this CompCon unit, possibly? Uh, yeah, we, we, kind of we blapped it. it. Yeah, yeah, we, um, we Pulp Fictioned it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Pulp Fictioned it. Um, yeah. No, no, which oh, one was yeah. this Travolta? Oh, I remember. I, I remember, I remember. Um, so, Kanya, uh, one thing I just want to highlight with you, since you were the one to interact with the signal, um, one of the last things that we left off with is that uh, you began to maybe have hallucinations. Um, oh, yeah. Maybe it, was like a, yeah. maybe it was just like a residual like concussion from the battle, being knocked around a little, little bit. Or um, who knows what it is, right? Um, but uh, you started to notice a lot of um, synchronicity in the world. Um, things are growing at the same height. The wind is always blowing in a certain direction. The bells are chiming within this farmhouse at the uh, right um, frequency. A lot of things are going on uh, with you, but uh, uh, as far as you know, and as far as the rest of you all know, uh, nothing is uh, uh, amiss with Kanya. Mm. Listen, um, I want to just yeah. say, Shaka, I really appreciate uh, the ComCon said something that was a threat. Uh, you are safe now. This is a threat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was it was definitely a maybe a I mean maybe a threat. Who knows? <laughs> Who really knows? You have been rescued. Please do not resist pacification. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah. Um. One of the, one of the other things you guys picked up is that uh um, Albert Chow uh, seemed a little bit irate, uh, noting that the CompCon unit um, was brought to the Charles Charles farmhouse by this individual uh, or the the flunkies of this individual right. uh, Lotus. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, you guys have heard that name before, um, but uh, now you know that uh, there's uh, this connection between the child and, and Lotus. Uh, but yeah, with that, um, you all are free to head back to um, Evergreen and um, get a little bit of downtime before uh, Patience uh, calls you back and uh, is asking for a report. Nosimbo also chimed in and, and asked you guys to meet her at the bottom of the well. Um, she had a bit of an update for you all. Yeah, uh, Scalpel wanted to talk with uh, her before she reported to her patients. Yeah. Because Scalpel is too? a bit sus of everything here. Didn't, wasn't there someone else you wanted to talk to? Like uh, let me check my notes. It's been a little while and my... Is so Kanya... Marsh... Kanya had a date with um, Edina G, 
and and another in the uh conversation with another individual and i, I see gear who, who go ahead would you have a... uh, i wanted to talk to nisembo i don't believe there was anyone else yeah um, i don't think there's anyone else for you i think nisembo just planned to be around uh that one soldier that uh, uh brava 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 yeah yeah i think it was probably was, uh... kanya it was probably <clears throat> kanya that i was thinking of then yeah yeah, was, yeah was, kanya was had a couple of people he wanted to see mostly the date because yeah kanya uh -huh. thinks he's slick thinks he can two time <laughs> Kanye is securing oh. assets. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that what securing you call assets. them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> it's probably been a while since you guys have, like, really encountered a, a, a long mission. I mean, your travel from Kulu and Kulu to this sector of, uh, of space uh, was, a, was a while, right? And um, I'm not sure. How are you all feeling about your, your first combat, uh, com series of combats? Um, they were an utter success, so <laughs> you doing good? utter success um, yeah um gear is probably feeling generally the same uh just mm -hmm. mostly incredibly concerned about the weird things on this planet and the inconsistencies and the strangely second com things that keep on coming up um yeah. they're also pretty worried about uh, lotus because you know ruining all of the subalterns in an area and making them go crazy is generally not a nice thing to do what um what makes gear so um confident it's uh strange second calm things um could be before. it's the that's true but um gear was born at the very ass end of second calm <laughs> so they're aware of how people used to talk but it's they a were bit too they, close to home. Yeah, pretty much. Um, mm. So they they have experience with second com stuff happening, gotcha. um, oh, and they're just pretty vigilant on it because you know it's now highly illegal and also just generally very bad. Totally, totally. Kanye, what about you? How do you feel about your series of combats? Uh happy with how they turned out increasingly worried as to why they happened um he's trying to put the puzzle together and now the puzzle looks like it's possibly perfect and he doesn't like that yeah yeah i would say that and uh you know you know you took a lot of damage in that last encounter not the first one and as you leave the the farmhouse here um and and kind of tin back to your mech uh to you uh it looks like um your mech is where it's supposed to be and everything's in order right it's still flaming it's still not flaming but like it's still like kind of smoking a little bit um it's still wearing the scars of, of battle but it's it's almost like it was made this way to you why is the smoke a retroactive mandala that's a problem okay um and uh joseph what about you I think uh, there's something going on that Joseph could tell that everyone else is pondering. Yeah. <laughs> He's just happy he didn't have to make any judgment choices, no like ethical dilemmas. It was just a simple mission of kill the baddies, they're gone, protect human lives. And, um,. Yeah. Okay. All right. And Kui, what about you? So, uh, I'll use a testimonial as like a track and field kid. Um, <laughs> Key is kind of in that moment where he feels as though he's finished the 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 big race of the event, but it's mm -hmm. that thing where he is extremely tired because despite all of his bravado. He is much more comfortable in in simulations where he knows he can tweak whatever variables and see how things play out over and over again. But in real combat, you only have that one shot. So he's at this yeah. point where he's like, if I slowed, I, I'm tired and I'm exhausted and all I want to do is lay down. But I know that like if I do that, if I uh, slow down, I'm going to like do the thing where you drink a bunch of water. 
because you're mm. so tired and you're not used to it and then you throw up <laughs> so mm. Kate, at the moment is trying to like just not throw up <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point, because this definitely isn't a simulation and any misstep by any of you would have led in the death of either Chief Fielding and the engineers or um, the death of uh, the Charles, presumably. So uh, very real consequences. Himself. Very, very real consequences. Yeah, he did get pretty close. You're right. I was just kind of hanging out by Shotgun Man for a little <laughs> while. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, with that uh, impression kind of uh, rooted with you all, um, uh, I guess you guys head back to, start your trek back to uh, um, uh, Evergreen. Um, you did note the, to Brava and uh, Nosimbo for them to send a big ass truck as you're, you're the CEC vehicle you arrived here on got stuck in the mud and, and sputtered out. So uh, with a little bit of time, uh, you guys have, I'd say about 30 minutes to, um, talk amongst yourselves and maybe, you know, inspect your mechs a little bit and survey the battlefield, look at the destroyed subalterns. But um, um, if you guys want to take a moment to talk amongst yourselves, uh, otherwise uh, the the vehicle that um, uh, Brava and Nocebo sent will show up shortly. Are the um, Charles already gone from their farm? Yeah, the Charles have left, yeah. Oh, great. I, I would imagine that uh, Q is kind of uh, looking around the farm and maybe like with the family not here, he feels more inclined to go and inspect the damages from inside the house and so on and so forth. It's probably what he's doing at the moment. <clears throat> okay, uh, Kui. Yeah, I'll take Kui. If you're looking for the char the child and kind of looking for like, you know, the, the damages, one of the things you do notice is that uh, Albert had a daughter. Uh, and it was the daughter that uh, went up to, I believe, Kanye and said, wow, at their the awesome on fire mech. Uh, you know that uh, she left an uh, 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 affection of hers. Uh, looks like it's a, a teddy bear. Um, it's kind of muddled in mud a little bit and dirty. Uh, but she was carrying it with her um, as she was cowering from these subalterns. You see that in the mud. Uh, I imagine that Q-Teppy kind of picks it up as he surveys the damage. And he's probably thinking to himself uh, about how maybe pleasant isn't the right word but that he never really had anything like this growing up so he hates to see it in such a state and he picks up the teddy bear and kind of looks at it when swipes uh the mud off with his uniform and he kind of makes a mental note to himself that he would like to figure out where the charles are so uh next time they are out he can return this t to its rightful owner Awesome. Yeah. Uh, you pick up the teddy bear, wipe the mud off. Um, you see on the back, kind of inscribed on the, uh, say, a tag. Uh, there are the words. Looks like it's written in handwriting. It says, it'll all be okay. Uh, but you also see that the teddy bear has a, a gash on its back that has a lot of its stuffing coming out. Noted. So do you guys want to do anything uh, kind of uh, just for this 30 minutes that you're waiting for this vehicle, or you want to Roll out. Um, Gear does want to find Kanya at some point, who is probably still scrounging around a no. dead robot. Kanya has shifted into the... It's... It's like seeing your friend who's tripping on mushrooms for the first time. Uh, oh, he, then yeah. Gear is going <laughs> definitely to them to uh, try and help. He's, like, he's doing things like touching things in the grass, seeing if that affects the pattern being very confused, looking at his own handprints. Um, it's like, okay. You okay, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Kanye, uh, you, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. If, if they come up to you and ask that, Kanye, uh, are you all right? I think I'm exactly how I'm supposed to be. <laughs> that is incredibly disconcerting. <laughs> Do you mind if I run a few tests? Uh, sure. And sort of looks at you, looking at your uniform, like, confused. Uh, um, Hook is gonna do some, like, generic tests, like, take temperature and, you know, that general stuff with probably a fancy space version of medical equipment. I'm yeah, imagining the um... tricorder. Yeah, uh, Kanya, what do you what do you think Gear gets? 
from this uh, little medical um, treatment? Uh, <laughs> probably a very different than usual set of brain activity. <laughs> on the contrary. Oh, it's oh, on the it's... con on the con on the contrary. <laughs> Gear, everything looks perfect and in order. It looks kind of looks like. You normally, I mean, you're a medic, right? Like uh, you, yeah. you've done work on folks and you um, uh, know the signs of, of uh, high stress, right? But there's yeah. no stress, no stress at all coming from Kanye. If you were to check, I mean, you're checking it's, it's uh, his uh, blood pressure and it is uh, like a sitting person, uh, you know, yeah. just watching the Omni, Omni tube, okay. Omni whatever, right? It's It looks good to you. All right. Uh... What is my baseline for Kanye? Is Kanye generally a bit more stressed uh, out? Or... Mid-level anxiety with... Um, uh, oh, I can't remember the word. Um, uh, fear of direct contact? That's gone. Okay, so... This would probably uh, light up for a gear as... That's not normal. You're meant to be having high blood pressure. <laughs> basically um so they'll ask uh kanya your readings are abnormally perfect what's yeah, going on i think i think what's going on is just what's supposed to happen i i cannot actually no, it sort of like touches your hand directly. No. Nah, I I don't think I can explain it to you and I think that's okay. And he has this weird like out of out of the ordinary smile and you notice that okay. his tattoos, the info skin on his tattoo that make up his tattoos has shifted from less of the traditional more to circuit board. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's cool. I like that. Um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, okay. Um, well, Gear is going to pretty much conclude that you're heavily dissociating in some way, uh, to the point where you just kind of like your brain checks out from itself. It looks like shell shock. <laughs> <laughs> it's shell shock. This man is. Different. Traumatized. Um, traumatized. <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh, they'll be very concerned, and um, they'll definitely notice the tattoo thing. Um, so they'll say, Right, Kanya, it seems you're having some kind of dissociative episode. I'm not sure why this is happening, but your tattoos are not normal anymore. Uh, sort of looks at its desk and, and just like does like essentially look at yourself in a camera. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> huh, that's huh, okay. I'm gonna go um, see if uh, I need to check something. The smoke is right, but I need to know why it's right. Give me a minute and just wanders off towards his mech. <laughs> they are staring at you with disbelief. <laughs> the absolute brass balls of someone walking away from gear when they're giving them a medical thing. How dare. <laughs> uh, after a couple of seconds of disbelief, they'll, like, sort of jog after you. Kanya, I need to sit you down for your own good. I'm, you might I'm hurt fine. yourself. I'm fine. I am... People that I'm... aren't fine say they're fine. Yeah, well... Yeah, look, look. You tell me why the ripples in your clothing are make making perfect eighty-seven degree -like angles, triangulating in three separate. Look, it's not important. I need to <laughs> work on things. Look at my clothes, really confused now. <laughs> it's look, like it's... something Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> <laughs> look, Fibonacci sequence. What? Look, right now my mech is supposed to have. Smoke and that concerns me on a level, but also it's supposed to. I need to see if it's okay for me to fix my mech. Leave, give me a minute. The, I, I really recommend you should sit down. I am sitting down Maybe in the wait. cockpit. Uh, what if you accidentally stand on someone? 
I you mean, I'm not. I'm not. Seem to know exactly where you are anymore. He looks over. I'm doing a diagnostic. Uh, how am I supposed to know you're not going to freak out? <laughs> I don't know. Please. You just know. You... <laughs> could... No, I really don't. Uh, could you please just sit down and wait for the uh, the truck? Look. We can sort out your mech later. Now, the smoke is supposed to happen, but it's not. The base functioning. Are, is the base model wrong? No, the base model is perfect. Me to just, what? Do you want me to put on your fire extinguishers? No, that, that's what? fine. They they ran out a while ago. Um, oh. Yeah, I probably ran hotter than I should have. I usually like to run a solid uh, 3.78 five times what I should be running. It helps the systems some... Uh, yeah, look, I, it's fine. I get that feeling. But anyway, you need to sit down. I am sitting down in my cockpit. <laughs> this I'm will go on Khan forever like, if you let it. <laughs> scrambling up the thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, br we'll break there as uh, there's, you know, conversation, uh, uh, call it, it that. It just goes in cycles for a while until <laughs> yeah. the truck gets there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, please uh, get down from there. <laughs> you fun. guys see on the far end, far end of the farm, um, coming up over the, uh, the, the hill here, uh, another vehicle um, pulling up um, be um, beside uh, your CC vehicle off in the distance, and it's, it kind of honks its horn. <laughs> Um, lo a loud foghorn, um, and uh, you see a hand kind of, uh, a face and a hand kind of stretch out the window and, and wave. You don't recognize the, the person, but uh, they're waving towards you. Um, yeah, uh, they're waving for you to get your mechs over there. Mm. See, now I have to be in the mech, close this cockpit. <laughs> uh, you get messages just, like, really quickly and typo-filled messages, just like, Please just be fucking careful. Don't run over people. <laughs> nice, nice. So yeah, <clears throat> the 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 vehicle um, waits for you all to make your way through the the battlefield here and through the Charles Farm. Um, you you guys do kind of pick up the, that a lot of the farm has kind of been destroyed a bit. Some of the windmill towers have have gone down or taken some significant damage. The the maze. Uh, um, farm fields here have been trampled. Um, it just looked like this place has been torn to bits, and it's going to take a long while, uh, at least a couple seasons, um, for the Childs to get this thing back operational if they ever feel comfortable enough to come back here. Um, so yeah, the the person that is uh, driving this vehicle, um, you kind of see them more plainly now as they uh, drive up uh, through the farm to meet you guys midway through the farm and uh, start um, I'm coupling some of the uh, the vehicles um, mech uh, retainers and they hop out the truck and they say um you don't know who this person is uh, they say uh hey 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 Rafa said you guys were here i'm here to pick up your mechs looks like you guys took a bit of damage yeah it's not really noticing this person because they're like typing in the data plate just just lots of messages of worry yeah, come on, guys. Time. Come on, we don't have a lot of time. We better get out of here. They kind of, they kind of look around and they say, uh, it looks like some shit went down here. I'd rather not it creep up on us again. Come on, I'll help you get your mix situated and we'll head back to Evergreen. There's been some, some, some strange, strange announcements going around the, the colony here and patients seem to think they're coming from this direction, but, uh, most of the folks in between here and the Grey Towns, uh, between uh, here and Evergreen, and the folks around Grey Towns seem to be rejoicing. Something about Union here and being here to to save us. I don't really believe in the hype, but you know, um, seems like other folks think it's a, a good omen. That's concerning. That that <laughs> that you can be worried about. Uh, yeah, you know, I I got to help out Chief Filling, you know. With you, you pilots in town, I'm gonna make sure that everything's in tight order. I don't have time to listen to these broadcasts. I barely have time to listen to the patient's pre-recorded uh, uh, playlist he plays every morning on Evergreen. Oh my god! 
But anyways, let's uh let's get you guys as mech situated and uh yeah, I'll give you the lowdown of, of what's going on as we head back. Yeah. So, yeah will you will eventually guys... give up trying to mum yeah and uh All right. get to that mech. All right, nice. Yeah, so um, you guys' mechs are loaded up onto this vehicle. Um, it's big enough to carry um, uh, your Legion size two, I mean, uh, Joseph size two mech, and the rest of your size one mechs. Um, everything looks bring, situated. Uh, is it big enough to also carry the scrap that Kanye claimed? Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can bring that scrap and they'll uh, uh, throw it on top um, in pieces, uh, presumably and then kind of strap over it and uh they'll probably ask a question like why are you bringing this thing it looks pretty dead to me yes but what is dead sometimes makes good weaponry all right i'll never get you pilots but uh sure i'll bring it along so yeah they, they strap it to the top you all load up and you all make your way from the child's farm, leaving uh, this altercation behind you and heading towards the Grey Towns. Um, uh, it's a, a semi paved road. You guys have traveled along it before. Um, one of the, uh, the things that you noticed that um, you didn't notice before, um, aside from um, the like kind of air burned down uh, buildings uh, that were here when you arrived, um, you see, uh, looks like there's a uh, a celebration going on just um, just off in the distance on the on this gravel road as you start to see evergreen in the distance um it it looks like people are like yeah it looks like people are celebrating um and uh the the your driver says yes you see that's what i was talking about they, it's the it's the folks out here in the gray towns the folks who say you know outside the gray towns they seem to be pretty happy that you know, union's coming and uh it's gonna stop all these these uh bug attacks you know and, or i guess they're not bugs anymore but they seem to think they are but anyways it seems like life's gonna re be returning to normal i i guess i wouldn't hold, uh, hold much hope for that at the moment i think it's going to be a bit stranger at first before it gets to normal well what i've heard is whenever union shows up everything starts to find its own homeostasis Guessing Typically, you know yes, but I think this might be a more complicated situation. Hugh kind of laughs and says, mm, my people have a different history. <laughs> yeah, 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 about that. Uh, uh, I heard from Brava that uh, you guys were from out of town, so to speak. Uh, maybe I want to catch up with y'all and learn more about where you're from uh, another another time. But like I said, I got some busy... Uh, and before he finishes his his, his sentence, he kind of like is looking in the rearview mirror and looking at uh, Joseph, uh, at the quiet one. He says, uh, your friend seems a little shook up. Are you okay? He has uh, some strange medical requirements. Uh, don't mind him. All right. What was that? He really <laughs> likes milk. <laughs> yes. He needs some milk. He needs some milk. Just sipping on a glass of milk. It's like, yes, I was listening to a patient's pre-recorded broadcast. Apparently, my performance the other day made it onto more this morning's broadcasts. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, Joseph says that with a mustache, milk mustache. <laughs> He's like talking hey. with a milk mustache. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, they they say. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I almost caught that, but like I said, I haven't had a lot of time to listen to the, the radio. Uh, but look, uh, we're, we're here. Um, I'll, I'll bring your mechs into the, uh, to the, to the hangar um, at the governor's farm, and uh, I'll drop you all off. Uh, well, actually, wh where do you want me to drop you off at? Uh, where would no Simbo most likely be? No the, Simbo uh, is at the, the well. bottom of the well. Yeah. 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 yeah um, I'm. I'm pretty sure it wants to be. Righty. Um, yeah, as you guys go through the gates of of, um, of Evergreen, uh, you see some of the militia there, um, and uh, you're dropped off uh, kind of at the gates, really, and it's a short walk over to where the uh, bottom of the well is at. Your driver says, um, well, it was great. Uh, great talking to you all. I'm off. Honk, honk. And it's like a really obnoxious honk and, and continues to drive through, uh, drive through Evergreen. 
Um, you all look, as you arrive, um, you get a message on your uh, Omni Slates and it reads from patients and it says, please disregard that message. It is not um, uh, originating from the, from the expected pathways. Um, but folks are sitting, you need know, folks around Evergreen. Uh, when you arrived, it was a little desolate. Now it seems a little bit more alive with activity as folks are setting up their stalls, starting to sell stuff. They seem like they're in a, a better mood as you know, they, they probably caught only a half of that that transmission and uh they're also excited that unions unions here and then they're gonna stop all these attacks mm. okay. so yeah. yeah i hate to disappoint you're gonna break that, the you're sleep bad news. Night. yeah you're gonna break the bad news too <laughs> i mean q is not uh if for no other reason than the fact that uh he want he he likes the idea of patients writhing trying to figure out how to Make this not look like his own ineptitude. So, <laughs> besides, Gosh. this is fine. Don't kill the vibe. <laughs> Local gear really wants to kill the vibe. <laughs> yeah, as you guys are dropped gear off. Says and, you're uh, too healthy. Right. Yeah. I was teasing. Too gear healthy, you're, you're too happy. happy. What are you doing? <laughs> you're, just, you're out of control. I need you to put some Maybe. anxiety back into your life real quick. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this, the secret here is that Gear is actually the one that's off. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> uh, hashtag get, here, get Gear help. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, as you guys are dropped off and uh, the wreckage of the of the broadcast is taken to the the um, the mech hangar at the governor's farm as well. Um, you guys are walking to the bottom of the well, and um, yeah, like as, as mentioned, people seem to be in a more uh, cheerful mood. And then probably at least one of you is, is handled, uh, handed um, some free fruit, some nice evergreen grown fruit um, as a, as a uh, celebration uh, type uh, gesture. Um, I'm imagining say, a combination uh, of a mango and an avocado. Dude, that sounds so good. But actually, I'm allergic to avocados, so that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Yeah, so you get your mango, mango, mango cava, Ma mango cava dough, <laughs> ava mango. Passion that was an attempt. <laughs> ava mango. Uh, yeah, it's you guys buttery. arrive. Yeah. Ooh, gross. Um, you guys arrive at the bottom of the well. Um, you see, uh, Nasimbo has the top floor of this place, and you see uh, her one of her legs outside of the window, um, and her. Uh, her bald head kind of looking down upon you and uh she just takes two fingers to her head and kind of uh passes them towards your way and uh hops out the window and expects to meet you all down in the bottom floor as you all enter and the <laughs> bottom of the well is packed it is p -p 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 packed there's a lot of folks here a lot of folks are drinking um no music going on right now uh but there are a lot of folks are drinking and it seems to be a, a mood of celebration a lot of conversation and it's kind of uh, flooding your ears at this point you see Nosimbo at the top of the stairwell, and she just kind of motions you guys up. Yep. I'm guessing most of the conversation <clears throat> of everyone around is just uh, excitement over, you know, uh, Union coming along and stuff. Yeah, you, most of the conversation here on Evergreen is about um, folks um, uh, talking about almost like, you know, um, when it comes time for Christmas, uh, and folks like put together the list for Santa Claus. Uh, patients put it in a strict a printer uh, a regiment or schedule that only was essential items. And now these people are like talking like, oh, since Union's coming, like, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that, I want a cabana, I want a margarita. So it seems like people are talking about all the things that they want, um, they can use that would better improve their lives here on Evergreen. Uh, that's what that's yeah. what it seems like. Okay, yeah. Well, Gear will uh, head towards the Simbo uh, with the rest of the pals. Alrighty. If they are um, yeah, are you guys going? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kanye will stop for a moment and just look over the chaos and just go, yeah, no, that's uh, that's not normal. And walk. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> <normal> <laughs> <than> you. <laughs> yeah, no, you guys no, uh, not, walk up. Not normal that the chaos looks perfect. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, so you guys head up the stairs. Um, uh, Nasimbo <clears throat> um, can give you guys uh, all a standard Infocane uh, greeting. Um, and uh, you all walk into her room. Um, and uh, she says, 
I'm glad to see you. You, uh, you horns. You left horns. You made it out okay. I'd like to inform you my hunting went just as successfully. Tell me of your endeavors. I'd like to record these stories for the Sagnomas. I'll leave the uh, retelling to uh, my Amphicane friends here. Uh, the whole gesture to Kanye and Katipe. Not wanting uh, to, like, cramp on the oral traditions or anything. Katipe is going to look at Kanye and go like, yeah. <laughs> uh, he looks at you he, and uh, is like, I'm not in the right state of mind. He'll tell it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what he sees. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, you're not saying anything. <laughs> um, but uh, Kitepi is gonna kind of like s stand before the rest of the group, and he's going to say, uh, he's going to talk about how they uh, valiantly went to the bowl and were able to clear it out. How the enemies didn't stand a chance, and before they even and before said enemies even realized it, uh, we had already dispatched them with ease. Uh, before nice. making our <clears throat> way to the subalterns and more or less just mowing down uh, swats upon uh, swats of these subalterns uh, before making it to whatever it is, whatever this device was that was controlling it and turning that into a scrap heap. Uh, nice. No nice. casualties, no destruction of mechs. Uh, he kind of like tries to give the air of like, it was easy. I totally didn't throw up in my cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and uh, if we got Kanye... the, uh, the talk, but not the walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kanye and Kui, you would know uh, exactly what you see Nosimbo doing as uh, you tell what, what was occurring. And Legion and, and Gear, not Legion, uh, Joseph and Gear, you've probably been with him kind enough to know like what it looks like to record oral history. Uh, but you see um, Nosimbo um, pull off a bead um, on her arm and it turns into like a feral fluid that levitates above her her wrist and she starts orchestrating her hand and the feral fluid um, reenacts um, uh, uh, what you just told um, in like uh, morphing kind of images and uh, signs. Uh -huh. And uh, as you tell the whole thing, it records it and uh, Nisimbo says, that will be one for the storybooks, I am sure. The Sagnomas will probably spin it into an untellable lie, but that is not our responsibility. I'm glad that we are here to record this. But enough of the stories. We're on here to business, and I have something to tell you all. So. It will perk up. Your hunt, your hunt, I presume? Exactly. So, as you all were dealing with the, the bowl and securing Evergreen's uh, uh, sustainability with uh, substance here on Evergreen. Uh, I was busy down tracking down this sniper we first encountered. I took Brava with me and uh, hoping that her knowledge of the area would provide me more success in my endeavors. What we found was essentially nothing. But after looking more, we found that there are these individuals, I would call them, we saw them off on the tree line, uh, where we presumed the sniper to be. They were presumably digging up something from the ground. We didn't decide to step further and approach, only uh, observing. I asked Brava, and she did not exactly know what was occurring there. But after a bit of time, he alluded to the fact that it may be this individual from the Grey Towns. They were harvesting dead beasts, dead metallic Subalterns, long buried, and hauling them back to the town of Blue Maze, I believe. I asked Brava, what would be our next endeavor, given this? Brava responded with, this needs to be investigated. While I know that you all have other business here with reporting to Shaka, I mean, reporting to uh, uh, patients, I would like to investigate this ordeal further and further see what this... These, these, these folks in at Lou Maze, this Lotus, has in store for these the work that he's been doing. Yes, uh, definitely worth the investigation, and it does sort of line up with uh, some things we learned. I do have multiple things to uh, talk to you about, Nisimbo. 
Uh, do you mind if I... Please. Please. Okay. So, um... Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, I just, if I may add very quickly, um, Qtepi probably would be listening, uh, to listening to tell this, uh, and the thing I wanted to say was just that Qtepi kind of, after hearing Nissan go break down all this, he would probably say, he'd probably, uh, kind of shake his head and say, uh, when I had, sh when I had checked in with you previously, I was worried that our plan was for naught, but... It seems to me that you that while forging, while you did not find the fruit, you found the root, and it is just as nourishing. Uh, kind of like along the idea of like he Qtepi believes that there's probably something more going on here than just the sniper sure. and that information. The information that No Simbo did uncover can probably be, still be used to some advantage. Sorry, dear. Yeah, no, no, that's that's good. Um, it's all good. Um, uh, yeah, so Gear will uh, essentially start by uh, saying, so just to give full context, uh, my sort of allegiance lies primarily with Union, then with Emphikane and you guys, and then with Patience and the people here. I have a lot of concerns about this uh, patient's NHP. It's uh, he his the words he uses are eerily similar to many of the uh, second committee's NHPs and officers and governors, etc. And the way he talks about. Uh, the so-called uh, bugs, well, or savages, I think is the word he uses. Uh, it makes me think that there is a great deal that we don't know about this uh, planet's situation. This is uh, sort of... Uh, bolstered by our experience with some captives that, um, that Legion was able to... Uh, take I'm uh, not Legion Kaiser sorry um, uh, and we had a small discussion with them uh, in which we did note that they were they were human uh, at least as far as I can tell they have been here longer than uh, the Evergreen and Greytown's peoples. Uh, they live in some kind of uh, place. Uh, they weren't particularly um, forthcoming about right. their uh, living situations, naturally, because hive we home. are their enemies. Hive home, yeah. They called it hive home, though. Um, sorry, I'm like trying to look for my notes on it, and my notes are you're all good, messy. You're good. <laughs> you're good. Um, there we go. Um, and they give me the sense that they're essentially natives that were civilized before uh, the uh, uh, GMS came along and um, formed a colony here. And I think patients if I am right, being a uh, second committee, is essentially wanting to commit genocide, which naturally is not a good thing to do. Yeah. Um, Nostimbo, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 you go. Yeah, Nostimbo uh, kind of takes all that in, like that was a lot of, that was a lot of unfolding there. Um, and uh, one of her first questions um, is, uh, and so, Gear, now that I have heard what you have said from your tongue, what do you propose we do next? Without proof of these uh, natives, as you call them, uh, these uh, Hyserians, let's call them that, what proof do you have that they have been here first? And also, I hear the notes and your concerns of patience speak, but as you know, 
Union, there, it is a complicated beast. In some ways, it's forward thinking. In some ways, it's back thinking. How are you not sure that what patient's mission here is completely in line with what Union believes? I don't exactly have proof uh, per se. I know that we can get it. Primarily through somehow opening a line of communication with Hive Home. I think that will give us a lot more information. I doubt they'll be entirely forthcoming at first, but if we can prove that we're not part of Evergreen and not part of whoever else has uh, essentially harmed these people, that we could potentially uh, open up some kind of dialogue, which will let us learn how long they've been here, which I believe they said uh, long before anyone else, or something along those lines. They were very cryptic uh, with their words. Um, and yes, as for patience, Second Com has a lot of unhideable baggage. So I think we can probably look to archives, potentially. We can look under the ground. Uh, there's always going to be some kind of wreckage that we can figure out uh, more information from. Uh, I don't think interrogating patients will go very well. Um, I did try. I got a bit ahead of myself, uh, unfortunately. Um, however, I think the proof is definitely available, just maybe hard to get. Well, Gear, I asked for proof not because I doubt your the words you say, but primarily because if you are saying that patience and evergreen here, every colonist here is imposing on others' lands, then you understand the recourse that we and Fukani must take. It is absolute and comprehensive, I assure you. I understand. I do want to uh, suggest a lighter hand for the civilians. I know Emfakane generally are a bit more forward with their uh, violence. However, I do believe that everyone living at the moment that it is not an AHP is, for most uh, intents and purposes, innocent of any colonial exploits or genocidal aims. I believe they're all ignorant of what's really going on, um, which is also supported by the uh, another thing I wanted to mention, which is that message that went out from uh, that uh, CompCon we uh, were dealing with. I don't think we mentioned it very much in our messages to you, but uh, that message that said that Union was coming uh, was not a main broadcast. That was some broken and probably hacked uh, CompCon unit that uh, sent that out as a burst message when it, um, well, I think Kanye is the best to explain what happened with it, but <laughs> it seems that that um, person from the Greyhounds, Lotus, I believe, is responsible uh, for that. And I think what you saw uh, in your hunt was Lotus's men uh, digging up more weapons, basically. Yeah. I think we found yeah. ourselves in a very complicated situation. Yeah. She gives out a big, a big sigh and says, uh, she'll address your first, first statement and say, uh, Gear, you have not been with us in Fakani for long, but understand we are empty of the war order. We are in service of Shaka and we wish to protect in Fakani and uphold Union's three pillars, even if it will not do it itself. Our aims are comprehensive. And yes, I do want to hear your concerns for the colonists here. On Evergreen, but if your allegations are true or your assumptions are true of these Hyserians, we are obligated to be in support of them. But yes. understand that the steps we next take must be cautious. We are also here as representatives, and we must not paint Epikani in a poor light. So 
Again, I trust you all with whatever direction you choose to go. But know that I will not align myself with anything that runs contrary to Infocani's edicts and Shaka's law. To your second question or your second statement about Great Gui, go ahead. Uh, I imagine Kitepi would add uh, would add something along the lines of a uh, gear. The Infakane do have a history. We know what it means to be lied upon and for the narrative to paint you nothing more as an enemy. Flowers that bloom on blood blooms do so most beautifully, but it does not change the fact that their roots are not but thorns. That's my little thing. Well, <clears throat> well said, Kui. And then uh, Nessimbo says, <clears throat> And that brings me to my second point. I do believe that while we find ourselves here in a complicated situation, as you describe it, Gear, I believe we must take our steps to unmurky the waters. And I feel this lotus, as you've called them, is a first step in that matter. I know that you all just came off from a stressful mission. And she kind of eyes Kanye a little bit, and Kanye's like in La La Land. He's grinning. Um, he's looking. <laughs> he's looking directly at her and grinning a smile that he should not have. Your head's like I'm so sorry. round, dude. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah. Um, uh, Nasimbo says, "I know you all came off of a stressful mission, and I know you probably need a little bit of off time. But I would ask that you reserve some time." To meet with Brava and I, she seems to think, or rather knows, that Lotus also has a hand in pushing stems to her her militia. And some, she's from from Brava's mouth, some militia have even defected to to uh, support Lotus and his uh, their private militia. Other matters that I am not certain on, but I ask that you reserve time so we may track down these lying um, lying creatures. I think that is a good course of action. Um, I think what I'll do, uh, when I have time, is see if I can, you know, dig up anything around, be that archival or physically, um, to see if I can find anything that's, you know, obviously not union. Um, I really yes. don't think uh, what's being told to us is true here. Um, um, yes. yes, I think we should definitely see about Lotus. Uh, I don't see it going well from what we've heard of them. They seem to be essentially a warlord. <laughs> the symbol <clears throat> activates... Oh god, I forget the goddamn name. Uh, hold on, give me one second. I feel like I should know the name of this stuff, but I don't actually know the name. Rather, I can't perish it correctly. Um, While you do the that, uh, Q is just going to add, if what we know about uh, Lotus is true, then it is most likely that you will get your answers once we confront him. Yeah, I got you. <clears throat> yeah, so as you say that, Kui, and Gear, you say that um, that it probably wouldn't end like nicely because they're a warlord. You no, know, Simbo activates her Umbumbu Zulo. It's her uh, feral fluid uh, uh, Infakane hard suit that uh, emerges from her back and kind of encompasses um, all of her body, uh, almost like a second skin. Um, and uh, it doesn't cover her head. She says, I am hoping for a fight. They will kind of yeah, just like yeah. chuckle a little bit and it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, um, but that's all Nusimbo had to say to you guys. Um, if you guys have anything to say in Nusimbo, yeah. Mm. Sorry. No, he is I... definitely said them. Yoga. I was uh, just apologizing because I... I'm trying very hard not to step on other people when they're trying no, to No, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Most of my stuff is a response to what people are saying, so. Yeah, no. I, I'm, yeah. If you have, a, like, a response you want to throw in, definitely do, because it's, um, it's a lot cooler. Definitely. Kanye Otherwise, just... uh... Go ahead. Kanye just sort of has it against over. I think you're right in one way and wrong in another. I think you're right this isn't union... But not that it's something else. I think it's just the wrong union. 
Oh yeah, that was the other thing you said. Yeah. Gotcha. Ooh. I think it's just the wrong <laughs> union. Like that's the wrong union. Um Okay, that's a really, really? interesting thing to say, Kanye. Oh, what you know, huh? <laughs> what you know? It's different. No. <laughs> <laughs> So far, our only context <clears throat> clues. We know that Union's been here before. We know that there are things in the ground that they're digging up. Mm -hmm. And you're right. Yeah. A bunch of this stinks of SecCom. I think you're right. The Union that's coming, that these people think is coming to save them, is the one that already tried to burn this place. Mm -hmm. Do we know if. Uh... Go ahead. Go ahead. Do we know if a. Form of union is coming, or if that was just uh, a really old CompCon unit that had been busted up. It was. Uh, it was definitely a really old CompCon because it wasn't the same union speak that um, uh, you guys are familiar of, uh, familiar yeah. to. But like Galaxy is big, right? And you know, maybe relativity has something to do with it. I don't know. Um, yeah. So yeah. That was... Out of out of character, uh, as in like just. This isn't something Q is actively saying. I imagine, like, in my head, the reason why confronting Lotus is probably going to get gear the answers on whether or not this is second com is that if Lotus knows where to dig up these things, what else does Lotus know about these old things that are old? Uh, <laughs> correct. Yes. Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Um, Joseph, what do you what do you think about everything? Joseph is uh, gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought the quiet. Still here. Um, so, um, oh, I thought I was speaking. Um, you're speaking now. Okay, good. So, kind of missed some points, uh, but. To recap, what Joseph probably would have interjected were me, the player, not Diamond, um, turned off my mic, uh, was that um, he definitely agrees that it's the wrong union thing. Um, that, uh, that everyone um, should just like he very much would like being you know ssc born and raised um things um quiet until they need to be uh known and he's all for uh, this espionage and like discovery and like uh more so excited about the potential political plays <laughs> that's gonna happen okay how very cool. guys are of him <laughs> i know exactly <coughs> i can fuck nice. with people here <laughs> yay <laughs> can't well, wait um... for kaiser to give a really good speech about how we shouldn't give people the death penalty and then for everyone to <laughs> ignore him uh... <laughs> So um, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's that's I would call, I kind of call it for this scene as Nasimbo grabs Harikawa and Urshilangu, and uh, appears to kind of get ready um, for uh, the pending mission she is offering you all to investigate uh, this this Lotus individual. Um, she'll kind of uh, go off and uh, say her adieu to you with her standard Infakane uh, uh, adieu, um, and start uh, what it appears like. Crafting another story uh, for the Segnomas to tell. Uh, she says off uh, before you all leave. Um, and if you all would like to add anything else um, to these stories I record to the Segnomas, please reach out to me. I would like to record some oral history with you all. And she's just offering an opportunity to do uh, Infocane downtime action. Of course. So are we doing uh, our downtime time actions? Now? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we can, um, uh, actually, you guys think about that real quick and let me, let me use the bathroom real quick. Oh, is it specific right. to, uh, um, so I put all the, I put all the downtime actions, um, uh, available to you all in the chat just above. So there's, there's two Infocane downtime actions. There's Latanga, which is like Infocane martial arts. 
Um, there's record oral history, and then there's the downtime actions available to you all uh, here in Evergreen, and the reserves are in the in the chat for you guys. Oh, so the ones in the book aren't um, the core book aren't available. Um, you can do paradox. Yeah, all those are available. Yeah, all those oh, are okay. available. Okay. Yep. These Let me use the bathroom real quick. Extras. Tanya, are you still interested in doing what we discussed about earlier? Oh hell yeah. Dude, hell let's yeah. dude, let's fight inebriated. This is gonna be great. <laughs> oh my god, what? Oh no. Look, look, look. He Drunk just needs to get it out of his system. That means exercise and then a oh. good meal. Lots of water. <laughs> or, I really or worse, the patterns the one time line up here and it makes won't him... be there is the one time you're gonna fucking give each other yeah, concussions. I... I, I'm kind of hoping, just for shits and giggles, that you roll a nine or below. <laughs> At the same time, I'm kind of hoping that I like somehow get a twenty, and it's like some dumb yeah, matrix shit. Like you literally, the, the, instinct. the patterns align, and I know how to do the. Th <laughs> that would be dope. I can, would like, be I can see every move you're going to make before you make it. <laughs> it's gonna populate. <laughs> yeah. Yo, African Lelouch. I just get for ten minutes. Yo, African Lelouch. Here comes African Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh God. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna step away for like five more minutes, actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. um, so let's, let's call it let's call it a short break. Good... Short break. Short break. Okay. I think definitely what Gear's gonna do is um dig up the past. Yeah, uh, I know it. <laughs> yeah. Cause they're itching to know what fucking awful things happened here. Also Big Daddy Genghis. <laughs> oh, sir. Big time again, guys. Oh, yeah. That's me. Once, uh, I think Genghis. once Gear gets uh, the sniff of um, HA tech, they might just start uh, digging a bit harder. I'll fight Setcom with Setcom. Exactly. And totally not accidentally burn down the entire jungle. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it did recover from that, so it's probably fine. <laughs> Ah, oh, what's a little TBK between friends? Exactly. Just a little bit of fire. It's nothing. I'm, I'm imagining the world burning down. Gears laughing maniacally. Patience sitting there, like head, like hand, like head in his hands, and just Qui, um, Kanya, and uh, Kaiser just standing around and being like, "Yeah, we told you so." <laughs> 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 I thought total TPK wasn't allowed. It's like, oh no, there's some left. It's not total yet. It's still got some juice in it. He just slabs the button. God. Yeah. <clears throat> I think Kaiser's gonna do something that I don't think a lot of people have done in Lancer. But oh. very Kaiser like, which is get organized. I was actually playing. Oh. That was one of the things I was thinking about too. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna start a political focused organization Ooh. Ooh. ah i i love it i love that he's setting up his little uh his chess pieces for some absolute shenanigans oh yeah it's going to be like disguised as a humanitarian effort uh like figs but uh I think that once a corpo rat. rat once a corpo rat always a corpo rat <laughs> mm -hmm. rat god Rat. And here's the oh, stipulation. Rat. Uh of course Kaiser's gotta keep it to himself. Yeah. And yeah, um actually. it's gonna be he's gonna be like the shadow leader of it, besides Shaka. So it's either Shaka or him calling the calls. God. I think so. because um <laughs> you trusted gear with all your weird medical shit. They're too trusting of you now, and they're not gonna pick up that you actually are a psycho unless they see you do some psycho shit. I'm I sorry, mean, we watched never... him take a man's face. <laughs> we didn't see yeah. that. Especially gear didn't see that. They had walked away already. Yeah, I think the only person that saw that was Chief Fielding. Oh, I don't know, oh, Chief. I don't... Yeah, Chief Fielding saw that for sure. Oh no. I mean, like, everybody was worried about bloodlusting mutant uh, SCP. Oh. And he's down, folks. And he's back. Hello, oh. Kitape. You are hey. back. Yes, I am back. 
Congratulations on there. not being dead. Uh, SSE assassin didn't work. Sniper's missed. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> Hit or miss. <laughs> oh boy. So what do you what what do the boys have for snacks today? For chicken, game snacks. Chicken burgers with cucumber and barbecue sauce. I didn't know that would happen. Anyone else rocking snacks? Um, I had a tiny little thing of chocolate because I gotta eat. That's good. Uh, That's... Kaiser? What did I That snack? I had a chicken sandwich, um, a granola bar with some peanut butter, and some turkey and cheese sticks. Oh. Ooh. I'm into that. Uh, I'm still hungry. <laughs> Understandable. I had a honey roasted turkey breast, like deli sandwich, Ooh. some thin mint Oreos, okay. uh, a water, and fruit snacks. And I am also still hungry. Oh, yeah. I've not officially eaten my lunch or dinner yet, so. Come after this game, I'm gonna be making a lot of ruckus. Ruckus. I think I want ramen tonight, to be honest. I bought some nice flavored ramen. And God, I miss ramen. Uh, I had spicy chicken garlic a couple of nights ago, and then Ooh. I have Korean barbecue and sweet chili left. Ooh. Korean barbecue is always good. I got myself one of those Korean, the smokeless Korean barbecue grills, and it's oh. those indoor ones, and it's one of the best things I've ever bought. Those are really cool. There's some things I need to buy now that I'm settling down after moving. It's one of those things where, like, I don't know about anyone else, but every time I move... No? Oh. My cook to pay dies yet again. <laughs> ah! Okay. Boom, second strike. Hada, hada, hada. <coughs> Hello? Uh, ain't nothing gonna keep me down? Ain't nothing gonna hold me back? Something something lyrics? <laughs> Ah, yes. I, th I may right, have back. fixed the problem. I think I was just... I, I just wasn't connected. You're back. Alrighty. I'm so back. you guys, we know what we want to do for uh, our first downtime action? Yeah. 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 Would you like to go first? When I say first, I just mean before me. Because how you turn out depends on how I turn out. <laughs> or wait, no, vice versa. Sorry, dinner. Yeah. Um, they want to punch each other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was thinking of challenging. This gets even more funny now that I'm in fun, trippy ComCon -com <laughs> drugs. Um, is the Latonga with uh, Guitepe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you all um, do Latanga. In Fakani martial art, Latanga is much older than even Shaka's beginnings and was a foundational to the Amambantu's training when it travels across space and time. Said to have beginnings on Cradle, Latanga of, today's, um, of today has evolved from not just into a uh, formalized martial art, but also a formal sporting activity and a game of camaraderie and instruction. State your opponent, which I'm assuming is Kui, mm -hmm. and roll the die. So uh, both of you Roll, roll me, uh, let's just say a contested die uh, and, and see what happens. This downtime action does count as your reserve, so um, you don't get to choose a reserve. That's this. fine. That's All right, fine. well, uh, what triggers are you both using? I don't have any relevant triggers, I'm pretty sure, unless like, <laughs> unless we can try to push Reed a situation like to know when he's going to strike, but I'm not going to push that. 
You can uh, totally push that, and I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, stay cool. Perform a task uh, with dexterity, speed, and precision under pressure. Um, I wouldn't say there's pressure. There's no pressure here. Well, it's combat. <laughs> the pressure to not be drunk. Uh, Wait, how, would you, how, would you, how, how would you say there's pressure? Oh, uh, personally, as just as a martial artist, anytime you're in a combat arena, there's an adrenaline high. That's what I run from. Um. Okay. 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 Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, how do you guys get your arena ready for Latanga? Latanga um involves uh, a rod uh, and uh, some sort of shield and a uh, a uh, makeshift a condo or a, a, a an arena. Um. Where do you where do you all uh, think you're doing this at? Could be anywhere. Hi. I imagine, like if the if the bottom of the well has like some kind of back lot. Totally, yeah. Yo, we find yeah. out behind the bar. <laughs> yeah, meet me outside, Kanye. We get a we get an image of you two walking down the stairs into the ruckus of uh, this this bar and people you know, talking and such, and make your way out the back door as you probably see some person some person blocking the back door smoking a cigarette. They part ways for you. In the back, you see a couple of vehicles, uh, evergreen vehicles, stationed back here, and a couple of other folks talking. Um, and you all start to set the stage, essentially. Um, um, we get like a Street Fighter background, essentially, of folks doing stuff in the background. <laughs> and uh, you all um, give yourself uh, the uh, each the Infocane, uh greeting, just like an underhanded uh, stabbing motion um, with uh, imaginary Iqua or your rods at this point. And uh, you give a little bit of distance between you all. This distance is called the Indele or uh, the Untamed Grounds. And you uh, begin your Latanga duel. So we uh, both roll. just roll. Uh, we just both roll the, our contested die, right? Yep. Yeah, unless you want to do some taunts or anything. No, I I think if any if Kitebi has anything to say, he's just gonna say, <clears throat> uh, uh, "Apologies, Kanya. I know that I am not the most." Marshal of the MP order, uh, before he begins. Don't worry, you'll be <clears throat> perfect. Yeah, someone, someone who's uh, who's just hanging out by these vehicles, like drinks their drink and kind of throws on the ground and say, Yeah, I'll fight. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> you'll be perfect. <laughs> My god, Whoa. narrate this for me. What happened? The whole duel, the hey, whole wait. duel, narrate it. Ah, uh, even better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, would you like to reveal what yours is this time? <laughs> so, yeah, let me um, let me tell it tell it tell it what it is. Uh, Akibu, you rolled a nineteen. <clears throat> your result is you and your foe uh, draw your wooden rods or whatever rods and shield and face one another, hoping to control the Indele. Your duel imparts lessons in each of you. The fight leaves you invigorated and under, uh, with understanding of how to control the next battlefield. Did you well, choose to draw this inspiration? Uh, uh, go ahead. Sorry, I was just gonna say, does this also have to be my uh, downtime action? Uh, this is your downtime action and your reserve, yes. Oh uh, man, I was gonna choose. I was gonna choose a different downtime action, but this is fine. Well, do you uh, want to uh, tell? Do you want to tell him? Because it was cool. Fucking tell him. Yeah. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> I the way I imagined that during this fight, uh, during this kind of like sparring, Qtepi was more or less going to record oral history. But it was just gonna... oh okay yeah that's that's totally fine you can do that yeah, that's totally fine yeah we, we can switch from that so we won't do yours but we'll do uh, Don Falls and uh, yeah. yeah you can record all the history instead um so yeah Don Fall <laughs> your result is you crush your opponent in effect becoming the teacher and the perpetual and them the perpetual student this is uh, them Kui uh, on your next combat you gain three critical die that you can may use once per round. Uh, expanding your uh, critical die, well, uh, expending your critical die to expand your critical hit chance um, by two. So now you can expend this die um, uh, once per round to crit on an 18 and a 20 through 20. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so track three of those. And then, um, yeah, so what happens in this duel? Um, so here's my question, Shaka. Mm -hmm. uh, I would. For doing the oral history, for recording oral history, uh, mm -hmm. my question is, could I use the lead or inspire trigger, trigger since I'm basically talking about it? 
who are you leading and inspiring? I, the generations enough, to come. I, yeah, the generations to come, which includes Kanye, <laughs> while we kind of go through this <laughs> bout. All right, that sounds good, yeah. Um, the other question is, do you want me to roll for it again? Because it's the exact same bonus. Uh, <clears throat> no, we'll take the 19. We'll take the 19. Cool. Uh, yeah, so which, uh, which segment? Are you going three segments, four segments, or six segments? I think I'm going three segments. All right, three segments. You gain the fate of your audience. Um, choose a fitting reserve. You may now bring two reserves into the next mission instead of one. Cool beans. Does it have to be the same reserve? No, no. So you can you gain one reserve from this, but um, usually when you start a mission, you can only bring one reserve. But this allows you to bring two. Cool beans. So you already have a you already have a core battery, um, and I believe you have some smart ammo you never used either. Um, oh wow! Yep, from the beginning, from I the didn't... first encounter. <clears throat> first I thought encounter. I, I thought I used it in the first encounter. But okay, I guess okay, not. you probably did. You, you probably did. <laughs> so you did. Um, if I Kanye, if you don't mind me narrating. Because I imagine this looks a certain way. Yeah, no. I'll just, I'm, I'll, I'm just about it. I'll just say, uh, you don't, you don't have. So, Latanya, you don't have to actually beat the shit out of your opponent. You can literally make them submit with your imposing might um, without confrontation. But it's up to you. I imagine. No, it's because it, this makes it funnier. Because, <laughs> because Kanye got a twenty. This makes it funnier. <laughs> um, I imagine that as we start. Uh, Qtepi kind of is circling about the arena, waiting for strikes, and uh, as we kind of circle each other, Qtepi goes, Kanya, I know that I have told you which is more dangerous, the rhino or the <laughs> But have I ever told you the value of power? And then he kind of thro throws a couple of strikes, a couple of feints, backing up in and out. Um, and kind of, he's he's more mostly just feeling himself right now as he continues to talk, and he says, "A jaguar in a a jaguar is the most dangerous of the animals in the wild, but put it in a pit, and all of that lethality means nothing." And I imagine at at this point, uh, Kanya kind of throws a strike, and Qtepi catches it with his own rod, kind of locking it, moving himself up, uh, and he says. Power that you cannot use means nothing, uh, which at this point, uh, I imagine Kanya would probably kick Qtepi's legs out from under him. Yeah, I was thinking the same. <laughs> he's, like, he's talking big game, and then he just eats shit. And then he offers you the stick again, sort of like helps you up. Go on, keep going. Uh, Qtepi is going to chuckle nervously. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's going on behind the bar. <laughs> He's like, oh, you can hit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> My got a new can hit. My man can hit. Her. Remember, I finished yeah. basic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. We get that We get that scene play out as a uh, as, uh, uh, small kind of crowd kind of um, is around you all. And, um, they see this unfold, and um, they're just like pretty amazed uh, of this, this uh, ritual or whatever it looks like to them. Uh, they're they're pretty impressed by it, and uh, they probably throw out some some jokes and some some jabs <coughs> at uh, you, Kui. But um, after you all are done with your duel, uh, your Tonga match, uh, they kind of come and ask you some errant questions about like, what is that, or like, you know, like what's going on, and like it's so cool. Can you teach me type stuff? Look, I, I'm fine with taking the moral victory of we both taught each other different lessons. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice, nice. His lesson was martial, mine was mental. Um, let me see. Wait a second. Yeah, so yeah. Um, Kui, uh, I need to put this in the thing, but Kui, you now have a three-segment clock that you may cash in with a successful um other successful like reserve um or downtime actions once you cash it in then you can bring uh two reserves but right now you you gain you gain one reserve um but um once you cash it in you can gain you could bring two reserves into into the next mission got you so just got for clear just for clarification um i don't get to choose a new reserve but i have 
but I currently have the reserve of the extra core b- battery and the <clears throat> and a reserve that I can just choose because of this clock, correct? Yeah, so you, you get a you get a new reserve, um, but you until you cash your clock in, you can't bring two into con- into the next mission. You can only bring one. So you get gotcha. a new reserve and you and you still have your core battery. Um, yeah. Got you. So I just can't bring in multiple until I do the clock. But for but correct, I still correct. get a reserve. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. You. So you uh you fill out um you fill out a segment. Okay, cool. Um, so, let me see if I can put it on. Oh, no, you will go to fill out a second clock your story. Oh, I did put it in here. Yeah, you fill out one second in your clipping clock as your story inspires and enthralls all you hear it. Yeah. So you got one second. Uh, cool beans. <clears throat> nice. Um, who's next? Um, do you want to go, Kaiser? Sure. So Kaiser has been kind of out of it, and some may think to the audience. And it's because of his weird <laughs> childhood remembering mech thing that he does. <laughs> uh, but he's been listening to the podcasts to uh, <laughs> to patients uh, <coughs> like pre-recorded messages, and he's been paying around to paying attention to his surroundings. In that, he's trying to suss out the most competent and influential people because he's going to start an organization and he's going to get organized when you get organized you start run or improve an organization business or otherwise state your organization's purpose and goal or goal so uh the focus is going to be political okay and uh the purpose or goal is to uh, impose Shaka's will on the colony in that oh, yeah. fuck. he it wants to create like a uh, on the front it's like a combination of a humanitarian effort and union he's going to take mm-hmm. advantage of all the news that's going on and say like hey you see this new building this new organization that started up this is a joint effort between Enfakane and Union. We are here to help. Because um, that message is just perfect timing for something like that to come in. And um, yeah. And Kaiser wants to be like the shadow leader behind it all. And of course, nice. Shaka is the like uh, Shaka's will uh, Death. <clears throat> okay. So, so do like, you want to do efficiency or influence? Um, influence. <laughs> oh, it's got yeah. to. So yeah, it's basically he wants to use this to manipulate Evergreen, Great Towns, just politics in general if he can, based on Shaka's will. Got you. <clears throat> got you. Yeah, uh, if you're looking for influence to people around um, Evergreen um, and maybe any like uh, errant travelers from the Grey Towns, I would say who's who's good to um, ping for this. Um, definitely. So br- any of the NPCs you've already met, right? Um, maybe mm-hmm. not so much um, Chief Fielding, um, but maybe like you know Brava, Adina G would probably be good. Um, if you can make a strong argument, even um, even Patience um, possibly. Um, let me see. <clears throat> there are some other um, NPCs that you haven't exactly met around town, but um, you are aware of, or uh, and their names are um, Yuki Specs Wellington. Uh, she's a technician uh, and is in charge of uh, Evergreen's automated defenses. Um, there is a teacher um, called Catherine Calloway, and she runs a school here. And also, there is a private Novern. Um, uh, they were apparently a former, uh, quote unquote, captive Vinfakane, but they've uh, found themselves here. This is, uh, you guys know about this person because of Kanye's research in the first session on Kulu and Kulu. Also, uh, <laughs> you have one up on Yuki because we've already spread the word that the horns are looking for Yuki. Hmm. Totally, totally. 
Okay. So uh, who do you want to who do you want to ping to kind of help you be your political advocate here? Uh, what does Yuki do again? Yuki, <laughs> she is a technician tasked with the upkeep of the colony's automated uh, infrastructure. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's her job. Um, when you guys first heard about uh, her, she was unavailable as she was making some modifications to the um, turrets as they were on the fritz um, a little bit when you guys arrived. Um, but presumably, she is done with whatever she's doing. Yeah. We only have to do one. I think I'll start with Yuki. But Kaiser would start like messaging two people in particular, Adina okay. and the closest he could get to Lotus. What? <laughs> oh, fuck. Those are going to be the two center points of this uh, organization. Oh, start, start Gundam entrance music. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, um, let's see here. So you want to start with Luki, but you, Yuki, but you also want to yeah. message Adina and Lotus. Yeah, yeah so you send out a, uh, got you. You send out open comm to Adina, yeah? Mm-hmm. So yeah, send me out that open comm to Adina. Um, like a, hey, let's get a, it later. Yeah, you get a left on red, um, and that's it. Okay. Um, Damn. and for, <laughs> for Lotus, um, you... Probably don't know exactly to contact here. Um, so maybe you talk a little bit around, um, spend a little bit of time kind of talking around the bottom of the well with some people here. Maybe some people are aware of Lotus, uh, but most of the um, information on this individual is hearsay. Um, and most, some, I would say most folks don't really even know who this Lotus character is, um, but they definitely are aware, ben benefit from Lotus's activities, uh, which are many. Um, you probably get a contact um, with with Lotus um, uh, hearsay um, contact, um, but it's going to take a little bit of tracking down. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, let's do that. And then for Yuki, <clears throat> yeah, um, you can go out looking for Yuki if you want to. Um, uh, you, you have her uh, presumed location. Okay. Yeah, he'll go out looking for Yuki. Cool. So you venture out um, into Evergreen. Uh, probably you leave to the back door and you see your other two compatriots just finishing up their <laughs> Latanga, Latanga duel as as uh, Kui uh, face plants into the mud. Uh, you just kind of like walk on by. Face um, honorably. <laughs> honor, honorably, yes. Um, and uh, you start going to the uh, supposed location of where, where Yuki's at. Um, after a little bit of time, you, you find Yuki. Um, she has a bob cut. Um, it's kind of parted down the middle. Um, she uh, is, has fair features and uh, uh, kind of like a, a, a pretty normal normal stature. Uh, she recognizes you um, um, before you even approach. And she says, your pilot's from, uh, you're one of those pilots that uh, recently arrived into town. Yeah? She kind of waves from uh, across the alley. Yeah, um, he weighs back and uh, gets within like hand shaking distance. Mm -hmm. And he offers to shake a hand and say, Yes, I'm one of the pilots indeed. I am Joseph Caballet for Remarch de Credulous II at your service. <laughs> oh, just... <laughs> Putting on the moves, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Yuki uh, is like her eyes go wide open. Uh, she has a thermos with her and uh, pulls off a cup from her side satchel, pours two cups, and says, "Say that again." Oh, well, you can call me by my cup, call name Kaiser if it's a... or oh. Joseph. Uh, say Joseph if you don't mind. Yeah, hey, been looking for you. I heard uh, the MP of the Horns are looking for me. Guessing that's you. Uh, hey, uh, what's up? Was Joseph ever told what uh, they were looking for with Yuki? Technical ability. No. Yeah. So, is that like a recruiting thing? What's up to Kanye? Uh, was 
this is a person of interest. If we can get something out of them, we should. Uh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, so Joseph's gonna say, yes, I've been told that you might be of great help to Enkane and our mission here. <coughs> You right? Oh, I'm just dying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Uh, yeah, she. Yeah, she says. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, got a few skills. Uh, I maintain the, the automated defenses around here in Evergreen, but they've been they've been acting up, and I also maintain some of the uh, external cameras and internal cameras, and wouldn't believe what I see, during the day, but uh, I guess uh, yeah, I'm, I've. I've got some skills I can I can help out, uh, but um, since your your pilots, uh, I guess I got a, a couple requests for you too if you got the time. Of course. So um, yeah, I I picked up a, a couple strange things that uh I've been trying to get them to to patients' uh, attention, but I hadn't had a lot of luck with it. Maybe uh, maybe you'll have a better luck with it. She pulls out a a, a, a video um, and kind of projects it on her Omni slate, and it shows a video of two subalterns that are like spinning around in a in a field in one of Evergreen's um, uh, farming fields to uh, west of the Slow River, and they're spinning around in a, in a circle, almost like a, a childhood game. And when suddenly they stop and start voraciously digging at the ground, uh, she says, "What the fuck do you make of this?" Um, Joseph <coughs> has got to take his uh, data slate out and uh, contact his the Comcon unit on his mech to um, hmm. basically be like, send me all the relevant uh, combat footage from uh, the Chong farm. Uh, your mech sends it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. And then he's gonna compare it with that and just show her like some bits and clips. It's like, well, it seems similar to the erratic behavior by these, although it seems like the ones at the farm had more purpose than I don't know what that's doing. Thinking. Yeah, yeah, it does look kind of similar, and these all. These all look more hostile, though. Are you sure they're the same? Well, not all of them are evergreen subalterns, but they seem fairly similar. These, well, I, I... these were ahead. hijacked by a being which we have dispatched to the main broadcast. I recommend yeah. you increase security. Yeah. Oh. I'll do that. I mean, just the other day, I tree traced some of the other video footage around the the, the colony, and these Tabaltons were were serving drinks down at the the cafe, and now they're digging in a field. That kind of worries me a bit. Um, you think this has anything to do with that message that came through? The one about Union being here to save us all. Okay. Um. Joseph does not lie, that's one of his traits, but he does <laughs> hold information. So she said, does it have to do with the broadcast? Yeah. Uh... He's asking if you, if you think it does. No, I think they're pretty <laughs> much separate problems <laughs> nice. that we'll have to deal with. Nice. Not necessarily uh... a problem. Where gotcha. you two about? She says, uh, well, I guess the message is true, then. I guess Union is really here to help and save us all. I'll keep my eyes to the skies, then. Uh, but the other thing, uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you about is, uh, I got this other video that's a little jumbled in places, but, uh, from one of the, uh, subalterns that I picked up straying away from, from Evergreen, headed east. I nabbed into its video footage before it, it it went out and she kind of shows you the video footage although it's like a little muddled in, in many areas 
It shows two well-equipped, um, uh, what looks like paramilitary forces, digging at the ground, pulling out um, more subalterns. Um, it gets a little fuzzy in places, so you're not really sure, and throwing them on the back of a truck. She says, uh, what do you, what do you make of this? This is from the perspective of a, uh, <coughs> um, hijacked subaltern. Uh, malfunctioning subaltern, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's very, very much disconcerted. I do appreciate the information. Yeah. Go ahead. I'll bring it up with the people that uh, that this information is relevant to. So, if well, I could have a copy of that. Yeah, she forwards you a copy, and she kind of says uh, uh, offhandedly, like, I guess it doesn't really matter much since Union's coming to save us all. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I was going to delete this, but uh, yeah, I can, I can pass it over to you. I'll always have the Union. Eventually, they'll come to make everything right. That's kind of what I hear they do. Um, but yeah, how can I help you? Yes, I was wondering if you would like to help both Union and the Intercontinental on a joint venture of sorts. I don't know much about Infocani other than talking to you here and now and the small reports from patients, but you all seem pretty good enough. Uh, I'm pretty well connected here on uh, Evergreen, uh, on Harsenia, so uh, yeah, name your price. Well, I'm not asking for too much, just information on who would be interested in joining, let's call it an embassy of sorts. Yeah, yeah. Like Politics I said, I'm pretty well connected. is yeah. very much something that's difficult and, well, the wrong person in the wrong spot can cause all the issues and we want to make sure that between them, Kane, Union, Evergreen and the Great Towns, that there's a peace before the, between the four factions. All right, uh, you say four factions, and she's kind of looks like she inquisitively, and she doesn't think of it like that. Uh, but she says, uh, "Yeah, I mean, I'm not a not a talker myself. My expertise is with machines, but um, I guess if um, you need a a bit of recording on anyone, I guess it wouldn't be any harm in." And forwarding along anything, uh, my uh, automated cameras and, and other um, uh, machines can pick up. Can send that along to you. Yes, let me do what you're comfortable with. She's uh, effectively offering you espionage. Nice. Cool. Um, but yeah, uh, that's uh, Yuki doesn't have anything else to say to you unless you have some more to talk to her about. <coughs> Uh, no, he's just got to say, well, here's my personal data, and here's the data of the team, in case that you can't contact me directly. If you need anything, just let me know. All right, she takes your contact information, and uh, she pours a, a, a bit more of the, the coffee she has in her thermos, and uh, pours, uh, drizzles a little spice or something into it, and says, uh, here, take this. It'll help out with the cough. Uh, and he's gonna take his... This is good. I think it would go well with some milk. We had milk. <laughs> Are there cows in this colony yet? <laughs> Did she yeah, just put like... some spice into his coffee? <laughs> yeah, like some chai, chai spice latte. I think we can get, some, we can get them indigo eyes. <laughs> <laughs> indigo eyes. Uh, uh, she says, uh, no, this is... We don't have any cows yet. I think that's uh, the next cycle shipment. Now that our, our bowl is getting ready in, in order, I could probably put in a request for some milk if you'd like some. No, I already have my own supply. Okay. Well, uh, I better better get back to the, uh, the, the forces here. Uh, I'll let you know if I hear anything else out of the ordinary. Yes, and I'll be sure to relay with you often. All right, you have made a contact for your political organization with two influence and some espionage. 
Anyone else need a shower? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, think it's hard. The moment she gives him access. Mud. Yes. Go ahead. The Jensen. moment um, she gives him access to um, the camera feeds, he's gonna mm -hmm. try his best to like hack it to where it looks like he's not checking it that often, but he's kind of streaming it essentially being a direct good shotgun. Um, like you guys, you guys, you guys don't have a connection to Shaka because it's too far away. Uh, but you can string it back to the Nayakamubi, your ship that's parked on the way outside of the system. There is a vestige of Shaka that is sitting dormant on this ship. Oh yeah, probably that, man. Cool, 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 cool. Um, any any transmission to the Nayakamubi, um, Nosimba will be acutely aware of. So just assume that Nosimba knows what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, yeah, no, I guess just if you uh, head off and uh, do, do your own endeavors for as we switch over the gear. Yep. Cool. Um, so gear, what do you have yeah, in store uh... for us? Incredibly predictably, I'm going to dig up the past. <laughs> you pick apart the wreckage of an old Tarsirian crisis, ships next uh, around Evergreen for useful gear. Sifting through uh, rusted metal and the old scarred skeletons of a long dead juggernaut. Create a six second clock, salvage clock, on your character sheet and give me a relevant trigger roll. What trigger are you using? Yeah. So, um, trigger. So, to just spin a bit on this um gears most like above game obviously i'm grabbing the kangas but yep. um for gear this is mostly like trying to find any evidence of uh like you know second com equipment and such mm. to sort mm. of support the hypothesis as for um skill trigger yeah. there are two that i feel like for the first one at least can work ish but um obviously mm -hmm. to your discretion first idea is word on the street basically by asking people around like hey do you know where a bunch of really old like mechs and stuff are or something along those lines the other option would be survive because it is out and about in the uh probably in the jungle and it's not very nice um conditions out there yeah i i would say either applies um it is up to you survive will right. inherently be more dangerous i like danger <laughs> i like being stupid <laughs> okie dokie so cool um so um <clears throat> You want to go out into the. Oh, here we go. He rolled a nice. To see. One T. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, you fill three seconds on this clock. Uh, it's happening. Now, from now on, you can clear segments on the salvage clock for the following benefits. You can clear one segment while resting to restore your mech to full HP uh, using salvage materials. Um, three segments while resting to restore one structure, and six segments to permanently gain the Genghis. So I'm assuming you're gonna wait till you can get that Genghis. Oh yeah, um, cool. yeah, um, definitely. In terms awesome. of RP, does uh, do they find anything you know telling, or is it mostly just a lot of really old scrap? What you find is, um, where do you think you would go? You said that just that. Um, let me have a look at the map. So, I think that, that, uh, we... that ship isn't that ship isn't there. Yeah, yeah. I think when we um, initially landed, uh, it was like over there. Um, you did mention that there were like occasional wreckages of stuff. Yes. But I can't yes. remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So yep. considering they know that there's stuff there, at least uh, they'd probably scrounge around that area. Cool. You venture out <clears throat> from Evergreen um, by your lonesome, um, walking around the gravel road. Uh, just uh, you see a couple of um, farmers outside, kind of picking up rice uh, or maize. Um, bring it back in. Um, you see uh, a few vehicles coming in. It looks like people are still uh, a bit ecstatic or uh, their spirits are uplifted that, you know, unions coming to go save them all. 
Um, you spend a little bit more time uh, venturing through Evergreen. Uh, you get the sense that uh, uh, from Nosimbo's um, information that the sniper isn't around, so you don't have to really worry about that. You sift through some tall grass that obscures your body and goes above your head um, when your foot kind of clunks on something. Um, you kind of bend the grass in front of you and uh, you see a wreckage of uh, what looks like a part of a mech that's half buried underground just in the middle of this tall grass. Um, spend a bit of time looking at it, um, um, investigating it. Um, it looks to be quite old. Uh, Maybe the, the monsoons here on, on Hysenia have uh, washed it up a bit. Um, but there's one other thing that, that comes up. Um, you hear the rustling of grass um, all around you. Or Neptune. Um, definitely, like, all around me, as in 360. Yep. Okay, yeah, they'd um take cover in as much of the exposed mech as they can with all their pistol. Yeah, yeah, I would say uh, you get a, <clears throat> probably like uh, a half the chassis and an exposed arm or whatever you can kind of um, kind of take cover behind. It looks like it's uh, probably um, half of a size two mech. Um, it's pretty big, um, but like a, more like a generic mech. You don't really get the yeah. pattern here. Can't okay, really get a, yeah. details about like it. A, like a assault mech. It's really rusted in many places. Anyways, yeah, the rustling um, doesn't seem like it's closing in on you. It's just continued rustling around you, all around you. Does it seem like it's like is the wind up or does it um, seem no, like a, something's moving? There's a light drizzle. Uh, something is definitely moving. Uh, the wind is probably blowing a little bit, but not too much. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, all you get right now is this rustling that's around you and uh, the beads of rain that are dropping um, down your head. I think gear, considering like the. Uh potential wildlife and everything would probably be keeping quiet and hoping being patient will have it pass. Uh, they're under the assumption that it's wildlife, um, but do have the concern that maybe it's a Hassinian looking for some people to shoot. Interesting. Um, the wrestling continues <laughs> around you. And after a while, if you're just kind of waiting here and, and waiting with your pistol, one of the one of the say uh one of the directions towards you we'll call it a five o'clock um starts to uh, the wrestling starts to approach you um <clears throat> it's uh approaches slowly um and what you can tell from the sounds a uh, bit uh, bit erratically as uh what pops out from um, the grass is a subaltern that is on all four of its legs crawling like a spider um oh. and it, it just like just walks around and it walks right in front of you um, it's about your size, but it's all on all floor, all floors, yep. and its, its joints are bent in odd ways. Um, it turns its head to look at you, look at you, and uh, it stands up straight and says, "How can I help you, traveler?" Okay, I'm uh, gonna be room with you, chief. You have permission to shoot that. <laughs> yeah, um, they're not. They're like zeroing in on like essentially for a headshot for a clean kill but uh they're going to say uh no need for help unless you're willing to uh dig up the ground it seems you have your mech has been buried would you like assistance yes please they're gonna step back a bit uh keeping wary of the other sources of sounds but still holding the pistol because this subaltern's a little weird. I can happily assist you. Stand aside. My arms are meant to tear and rip. Union is here. You're safe. And it goes towards this uh, mech and starts not to dig it from the ground, but rip the rest of this thing apart. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm, of I'm downing it. <laughs> <laughs> the moment it like, touches the metal, it's just bang. <laughs> <laughs> you shoot it, and it goes down and says, I am assisting, and, and it goes down. Uh, the rustling around you continues. There is, it's not approaching you, but it's um, 
uh, you probably probably the, the breeze blows a bit, a strong breeze bl blows, and the the grass, which is somewhat ten feet tall, uh, bends to about five feet tall, and you see about twenty subalterns around you spinning in circles. Oh fucker! All right, uh, do I see a exit route? Yeah, so the way you came. Okay, so that that's not uh, blocked off by subalterns. Nah, it's not. Yeah. All right, I'm going to head back the way I came then, very cautiously and very guns up. All right, you head back cautiously, <clears throat> and you get a, 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 a synchronous. Where are you going, traveler? We're here. We're Union. We're here to help. If any of and them get close to me. I shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> None of them are approaching you. Uh, as, they, as soon as they say that, uh, they can continue to uh, stretch their arms and twirl like a ballerina. Are they like T posing and spinning? Because that's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> powerful threat. Uh, it is not like. Uh, a bit, a bit, right? Um, as you get a bit distance from them, um, you see that the, the wrestling that was uh, individualized and localized around like those uh, subalterns. Uh, seems like it's it's coalescing in a certain area, not headed in your direction, but it's definitely headed east. Um, and as you know from earlier, the subalterns from at the Child's Farm also went east, and you know that uh, one of Evergreen's control towers are east. So it it just uh, the group starts to march that way. Alrighty. Um, well, unless they get close to me, I don't pick a fight with them, and I will try and sneak my way home. Now, yeah, yeah, you sneak your way home. Um, <clears throat> you do find something uh, probably in your in your pocket uh, that uh, you were probably able to grab from this uh, destroyed mech, um, and it uh, is the uh, HA logo uh, that you um, probably uh, okay. unconsciously picked off of this this mech, almost like a um, like a uh, I forget what you would call it. Uh, like a hood color. ornament. Yeah. Yeah, hood ornament. Yeah, yeah, like a hood yeah. ornament. Yeah. <laughs> Put the hood on and off this fucking car. Just like, yeah, <laughs> take it this way. <laughs> yeah. 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 You head back and you make it back safely. Uh, people are still happy. They're still, they're still, yeah. that, you know, yeah. Union's coming to save everyone. All right. Um, I'd probably send a um, encrypted message to the Nisimbo, um mentioning that there seems to be old HA tech and that the subalterns are still. Uh, haywire and uh, seem to me moving east. Um, Nassimo sends a uh, message back to you and says, um, it says, uh, did you see any of Lotus paramilitary people around? Um, no. Okay. Um, about the, your comment about the HA tech, um, she uh, texts back a, a question mark and uh, says, like, uh, text back a uh, GMS, you mean? Uh, then I'll literally just snap a photo of my fucking stolen hood ornament <laughs> and be like, yeah, no, this is a, a rusty fucking piece of shit, H.A. Mac. Uh, here you go. Here's my evidence. Nasimo uh, sends back a, a, a Ikwa emoji and a Ibuto emoji. <laughs> she sends the Ikwa Ibuto emoji. Ooh. <laughs> She's like, take it down. God. <laughs> Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, then she sent text back. Uh, received. Yep. Cool. Uh, so yeah, you make it back to Evergreen. Um, and um, you all, all of you all, finish your uh, your downtime actions. Um, you guys have about a, a week here. There's another downtime action, uh, which but is going to be carried out through Nosimbo's mission if you choose to accept it once she briefs you on it. Um, you have so, about a week to. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I had a quick question, and it's just because I remembered it. Whatever Shoot. happened of the microphone portion of my drone that I oh, had yeah. put up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Updates uh, on that. How oh. smart. Um, so, yeah, you guys have about a, about a week after you finish your downtime actions um, before Nocebo has her plans together for the next mission. But in that week, um, yeah, Kui. Uh, um, how are you? How are you going about checking on your microphone? You have your drone; it it's all transmitted to your drone. But um, uh, yeah, yeah. The way the way I imagine is that the drone is otherwise like not really hooked up, but the 
but normally the way the drone just is controlled is through uh, one of my data pads. So I'm getting feed from the microphone uh, and I'm just getting it on my data pad so I can. So I've probably been spending the week kind of with an ear to the proverbial wall. Yeah, give me, if I hear anything give, me, interesting. give me one second. I think I have, to, I have to look for something real quick because this might be important. You hear the sound of a firing squad. Give me, give me, give me two minutes. Yes, Kaiser's speech didn't go through. Uh, also, I apologize because I recognize that that's like a really stupid history joke. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This like, was... I don't know how many people is gonna, how many people are going to understand what I'm referencing. Dude, we're nerds. It'll be fine. The comments yeah, will tell. We got there. The oh, comments will tell. Oh, oh shit! Well, I, gotta, I gotta go back and look at this. Uh, this <laughs> I'm this sorry. I made the shot go up. Very, very important. Um. <sighs> do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, I know what I need to do. Interesting, interesting. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> Give me one second. Okay, cool. All right, uh, makes sense. Um, yes. So, um, what you learn um, from uh, surveying your drone, um, uh, the conversation that has occurred uh, from these uh, high Syrian captives, um, they didn't take the microphone out, and after a long lull of them being um, at the um, at the bowl with Chief Fielding and his engineers, um, <clears throat> it looks like someone took them back here to Hycenia, and they're being um, the signals coming from the governor's farm, but uh, patients, um, patients' quarters, or uh, rather, like areas that are specifically um, uh, for for patients. Um, and uh, what you what you hear are, are notes about confirming that you know they uh, are worried about their compatriots in Hive Home. Um, they're also um, a bit. They see from the conversation. They also seem a, a bit skeptical that. Uh, the people here on Evergreen are working for something called the machine. Um, you get the sense that there's a bit of conversation between the the few that you that are surviving, and they say that uh, it looks like they're just people. Um, but another one kind of chimes in and says, uh, "But they're people imposing on our home." Um, and then another one says, uh, "You know, that will probably be taken care of soon." Um, and then um, you hear a. Uh, uh, a voice in the background and it's patience's and says uh stop the conversation i'd like to have words with you all and then it cuts out god they got moneyed mm. big would uh, would i to pay share this specifically no. to you maybe no <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> evidence <laughs> Qtepi wouldn't even share this with Nasingbo. Um, Interesting. But not like, not in a hiding it way. Uh, just because Qtepi is a problem child <laughs> in his heart of hearts. Um, mm -hmm. This is probably going to lead to Qtepi doing something stupid. Okay. But I'm fine <laughs> with that. <laughs> nice. Look, nice. Look, to fuck around is human. To find out is divine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was wrong about Lelouch, you're coming up. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> Christ. What are you saying, Kanye? Yeah. No. No. Uh, uh, so yeah, um, you guys have had about a a week to, uh, after your your downtime actions, and maybe you get together and talk about things. Maybe you don't. Um, uh, I'll give you guys an option here. Um, Nasimbo and Brava have a narrative mission of sorts for you all to investigate the whereabouts of Lotus. Um, they've gotten information that Lotus has a compound in between Evergreen and the Grey Towns, both Wu Maze and uh, Merrick Town. Um, Nasimbo got this information after some of uh, Brava's militia forces, um, uh, well, Brava's connects uh, in the militia or you know, leadership of the militia or whatever. Um, and uh, she's convinced Brava uh, to uh, do a little night strike on uh, um, Lotus's compound to, one, um, get rid of this uh, stem racket that Lotus apparently is running and uh, feeding to militia. Essentially, Lotus is um, hyping up the stems and uh, getting um, Evergreen's uh, militia kind of uh, hooked on them. And then the other one is to find out what the hell Lotus is doing with all these subalterns. Yeah, that's so we can very do that. Interesting can, to give. We can do that, or we can do another downtime, and uh, we can uh, progress through um, no room for wallflower. What do you guys uh, want? I'm interested in that strike. Uh, yeah. If only because, like I said, I think fucking around uh, with the Lotus is going to probably has a good potential of giving us more information on what's really going here and i prefer to walk into bad situations with my eyes open so yeah i'm about it mm -hmm. all righty <clears throat> well after a week goes by <clears throat> nasimbo contacts you all uh and uh ask you all to let's see let's see Nasimbo will <clears throat> ask you all to uh, report to uh, the bottom of the well, but not the establishment itself, um, the docks that uh, are outside the bottom of the well that uh, are hovering over the, the slow river. <clears throat> as you all approach, um, you see Brava uh, there as well um, with Nasimbo. Nasimbo is in her uh, Umbu Muzulo, her, uh, her uh, Infocania hard suit. She has her Iko at her side and her Ishilangu on her back. Um, Brava is also equipped with their big ass fucking gun. Uh, definitely huh? not covert in any way. <laughs> no, not covert in any way. <clears throat> Brava's hair is well slicked back, and Brava um, surprisingly looks more serious than Nosimbo. Um, and uh, Nosimbo says, Left horn, it's been a while. I thought you would never come. So, I'm assuming you are ready for this endeavor we will soon embark on. Of course. It's nothing like a little night strike. Yeah, it wouldn't miss it for the world. Brother, I will hand the floor to you. This is your mission. Brother chimes up and uh, cocks her gun and uh, she says, I almost forgot Brava's voice, so give me a second. Um, it was like December, but not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see if I get it. Uh, the Bravo says, um, <clears throat> It's about time we take care of this lotus prick. I've recently fallen to some information that some of my militia that I originally thought had been taking R&R in &R the Grey Towns has been defecting to this paramilitary force. Lotus has been put together, been putting together, and been finding out that Lotus has been hitting all the stems to my militia forces, either to weaken them or, I don't know, take them to his, to his own aims. I can't allow this to happen. Lotus is fucking with Evergreen. He's fucking with the survivability of Ever of my people, and I can't let this to happen. I've heard, oh, me and Nosimbo, when we were out looking for that sniper, you also saw they were digging up subalterns. This too, I can't, I can't let this happen either. You see, I propose we pay a little visit to Lotus's compound. We find out what's going on. 
But uh, fortunately, uh, Osimbo advises a more advises a more uh, strategic approach. And so, while I'd love to go in and run guns a blazing, negotiation last. I do do understand that some of my friends might be working with Lotus, and I'd rather minimize any casualties. So, the proposal I have yes. for you all is. We, we go at night, we see what we can find, and we destroy what, whatever Lotus has going on. I think it's a rather good plan. I'm mostly interested in information myself, but I'm definitely going to uh, do what we need to do. Um, I am worried for you, though, brother. Uh, considering that you do have friends working with this Lotus person, uh, I do worry if there is an engagement, the trauma that you'll go through if you have to put any of them down. Look, I, she kind of sighs a little bit and her bravado just kind of dies down. <laughs> as you say that. Uh, Nocimbo uh, puts That's her hand good. on Brava. And... <laughs> Nocimbo puts her hand on Brava and says, <clears throat> Do not worry, brother. We, MP of the Horns, can practice tact. We know who it is we are up against, and should we find any of your compatriots, we will ensure a more TKOs, or a, a technical knockout, is employed. We'll try not to use any deadly force. We understand how important they are to you. Keep your chin up. This will be a successful mission, I assure you. Yes, uh, yes, it will. <laughs> yeah, kind of realizing, er, oh, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be so worried about everybody's traumatic uh, experiences. <laughs> I imagine um, that uh, Qtepi is probably geared up and ready to go and just kind of like, uh, for clarification, he's probably going to ask that like, uh, just to make sure that he's on the same page, that Lotus has more or less been uh, kind of secretly giving out his drugs to the militias and it's caused people to like leave, right? Less secret, more um, just uh, it was overt, but it just never really occurred to Brava that this was happening. Um, but now she she knows that <clears throat> this is this is happening, and um, yeah, it's it's causing uh, uh, presumably Lotus is using the the funds or whatever the the, the economy here is on on Evergreen is. Um, it's it's paying uh, offering a better price to the militia, better than an SSC contract can pay. Got you. I imagine that uh, Kitepi kind of like a uh, is playing with the the helmet portion of his hard suit in his hand, and it is specifically uh, it is specifically made to resemble a uh, Woyo mask, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Mm. Uh, <laughs> which has ties to kind of like tr ba basically like tr putting people on trial for uh, Ooh, if I know my okay. history right putting people on trial specifically for like using witchcraft and poison so it's like so oh, okay so i think to nice. myself mm, how fitting uh, <laughs> nice. he's geared up nice um <clears throat> kanye as this is going on um you notice that uh, all the fish in the slow river are jumping uh, at the same time uh, and uh, like synchronized swimmers. Just something you notice. Um, none of you, else, none of all of you see that. The only Kanye. <laughs> this man <laughs> tripping out. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the Simbo says um, to Kui, you have the right idea, Kui. Someone would be put on trial. And we will ensure that this Lotus doesn't interfere with our mission here on Hycenia. There are other matters at play, and I'd rather make things as simple as they can be. I know when there's a mission that we are all best fit for, and I'll ensure that we go out and complete it when we have the ability to do so. So, we leave tonight. Prepare yourselves. I'll meet you outside of Evergreen. You guys have any other questions? It's good to go. Cool. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, fast forward to the night uh, as you all are. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Um, you guys can um, bring what pallet gear you want to buy. Uh, bring. Um, so, yeah. Um, um, 
Gears bringing their general stuff, but with like suppressor for pistol because you know sneakies. You say you can bring what pilot gear you want to bring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, like, you had you had old pilot gear, but you can you have enough time to switch that up. Okay, uh, I will probably do so. Let me just ah uh, shoot. There's you not probably... an easy way to do this on Foundry. Do you guys um, have um you... stealth. Yeah, you, you, you go to ComCon. Yeah, if you go to ComCon, you can you can change it there and just up re -upload, re upload your code. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm probably gonna change stuff around to have some <laughs> yeah. kind of stealth suit and um, I can my get weapons a bit. I can give you I can give you guys a, a quick ten minutes. You guys want to do that? I don't think we're gonna get to combat today, but we're gonna definitely finish this narrative scene. So um, we can take a quick break yeah. here, and you guys can change up your pilot gear, and then uh, uh, we'll we'll all regroup uh, outside the walls of Evergreen. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I th right. think for that. is gonna just take the usual stuff because uh, it's all like medical stuff in case everything goes awful, and they're always worried about everything going awful. Honestly, most of mine is pretty basic. My setup's pretty stealthy in the first place, so yeah. Yeah, not surprised. I'm not, I'm not really using a stealth suit, but a light hard suit is still, like, contributed to, like, cloth and a few electrical bits. It's not, like, clunky. Yeah. I think I have a... Actually, I can just look really quickly. But I know I don't have a light hard suit. Or, like, a... I think I have, like, an assault hard suit. Um, I've, I've I, a nerd I'm and a gave them names. Hit. Yeah, I, I took a, an assault. Uh, to, yeah, because I love so, having that one armor. It actually saved my yeah. life one time. Uh, it's definitely a thing where Qtepi took it. Like, uh, I don't want to get shot. Yeah, <laughs> but stealth suit seems appropriate here. I still yeah, stealth suits like, are pretty good. I still kind of want to bring the Omni Hook just so, like, if need be, we can just like instantly is like, yeah, no, you want to try and start something here? All of the planet will know. <laughs> I second. think, uh, if anything, I'm going to switch out the tertiary arm and the handheld 3D printer. Just because I don't think they would be particularly useful for a stealth mission. Um, God, I'm looking through the gear list. I'm just like, thermite charge. Ooh, that could be useful for breaking into safes. So let me do this really quickly, but <laughs> please feel free to continue. Yeah, I think Kaiser is bringing uh, info skin and Proscopella color because uh, those are the perfect combo for imitating guards yeah. and people. Uh, yeah. Also, so no one sees his face. I've got the info skin, so I can at least like modify what I look like. Yeah. Um. Honestly, I think gear will just be essentially running support for <coughs> the op. Um. So I can't think of anything to really change. Um. Got a corrective in case someone dies. I've got a data plating so I can keep annoying people. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the light. Hmm. I'm gonna keep them in the uh, flex suit because things that happened. Yes. Yeah, I think I'm. Guess I'm set. Plus, I've got the comlink uh, necklace. It allows sub-vocal communication, so that's basically silent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is. Um, it's a good gear thing has to that too. Data plating's amazing. Yeah. I might take uh, the smart scope because it uh basically blinks targets for everyone. So. 
really easy not to run into someone who's behind a wall when you know that they're behind the wall because someone was on the board or marking them for you. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll probably take uh, the sub vocal thing and that replacing my handheld printer and tertiary arm. That's and that yeah. up my suit for a heart suit. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right. What, what was Kanye bringing along? Uh, he's bringing the light suit, uh, an info skin, his data plating. I'm trying to figure out whether I want to keep using the Omni hook. It is the issue that it's bulky. Yeah, I think oh, like so Omni hook allows you to like hack better. I'm pretty sure. Well, it's essentially free access to the internet uh, wherever you yeah. go. Um, limited hot spotting, data transfer. So, for in terms of like just getting your hands on, um, info, it may be worth keeping around just for hacking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it would definitely come in handy if like um, we've got to to go very nitty gritty um hard drive extract yeah and if we're still sneaky uh, it would be preferable not to just take the hard drive just rip the whole thing out uh if exactly. you'd be god You're i wish there was me. um and if nothing else i've got in... blow something up i can rig it to explode yeah I was in another campaign, and the GM is a total nerd for Titanfall, so data knives were a thing, and they're incredibly yes. useful for these situations. Yes! I love Just stab knives. the computer! Fucking stab it! Do it! So You'll get all the data. Robocop. <laughs> that that is one of, like, the old stop. gear from, um, the old versions of Lancer. Back when knife. faction, uh, pilot gear was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, literally, you right. just hack something or disable something by stopping it. <laughs> it's so cool, though. Why'd they get rid of it? I cried. Oh, yeah, though. What was it? Like, I have the copy of the PDF, but there's so many good stuff that's... It's basically overpowered. Yeah. Uh, I think I can convince Shocker to let me modify my, um... <laughs> my spear to add fucking... Oh, my God. ...data knife bullshit. <laughs> oh, my God, that'd be amazing. I mean, you can always reskin it as the as your spear and your uh, your you, as your uh, spear and your data knife basically being the same, one and the same. Yeah, that'd be yeah. awesome. That that's would be why, cool. That's why your neural spike is bulky. It's the size of a spear. <laughs> it's a medium spear. Yeah, the Omni hook. Yeah. Oh God. No, nah, that wouldn't work because I made my spear collapsible. I'd have to make a second one. All right, I'm Hi. back. Hi, hey. Jack. Hey, so, Shaka, yep. what do you think yep. about data knives? What are data knives? Yo, Titanfall. Uh, Robo, Robocop, uh, Neural Spike. What do they do? S slicing spikes from Star Wars. Es essentially... It's a knife that you stab into a circuit board and it lets you hack computers. <laughs> it's a stabby um, USB stick. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Mechanically, what do, you, what do you think they would do? Okay, so oh, yeah. the idea is essentially that when we get to the, like, if we find some computers and stuff, uh, instead of having to take, like, 20 minutes, type in, type, type in, with um, the Omni hook linked up to take all that data, Instead, we can just stabby stabby, and it takes as much data as it can. Hmm. 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 Uh, this is Lancer, so I would say yes. Uh, you can turn <sighs> off a uh, custom data knife. Um, Tanya uh, was wanting to know something about his spear. Go ahead. Also, being a data knife. <laughs> Integrating the data oh, knife into the tip of my into the tip of my echo. <laughs> Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is a horrible <laughs> idea. I love it. <laughs> I, I am now adding data knives to the fill guy. <laughs> Hell Fuck yeah. yeah. Dude. Quick question. Do I need to keep my... Do I need to keep my personal drone? Uh, like, 
I, I guess, I guess clear question. You, would, you need to keep it. Yeah, you need to keep it. Okay, just making sure. I mean, it looks like a shield anyway, and I feel like mm -hmm. it's nice to take it, but it's also a yeah. situation where, like, until I can until I can get the microphone back, I'm pretty sure I need to keep it on hand. Yeah, you need to keep it. All right, sounds good. <clears throat> I have cool. everything I need. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so um, just just curious, uh, as you all are marching, a uh, night night soon uh, falls on Evergreen. Uh, the rain picks up a good deal, uh, a good. Uh, it's a downpour almost. Um, <clears throat> my puddles start to accumulate around your feet and stuff as you're walking through Evergreen. Tell me what all you all are bringing. Uh, gear, you can go first. Yep, yeah, sure. Uh, gear's not really changing much uh, of their gear, <laughs> but um, because uh, they're mostly concerned about if it goes wrong, then they're going to need a medic. So they've got a uh, assault hard suit, a uh, pistol with silencer, I guess, uh, a combat knife. Um, so that's a small AC weapon, I think it was, uh, or small signature, whatever. Uh, they've got data plating, uh, a corrective, and a flex suit. Nice. Alrighty. Kanye. Uh, Kanye's basically entirely wearing his usual gear, which is the uh, black with red highlights, uh, light hard suit, um, his Iqua, uh, his sidearm, um, and he's got his info skin rigged for. Um, quick commands um so in theory is like okay they're looking for they're looking for a person who looks like kanya let's look like a 23 year old asian um <laughs> uh he's got his omni hook on his back uh for some hacky bullshit and he's got his data plating necklace for his he heads up display okay nice um uh joseph so um, the only modification Joseph can really make on a short notice is that he has his info skin, post color, and SEC silk undersuit. Um, all, you know, just integrated into his being. Um, he really doesn't have the option to really change it without much surgery or pain, which he doesn't want to deal with right now. Um, but what he can change which he's on, is his uh, style suit that he's going to use and nanofilament whip that he's bringing, uh, medium AC, and a um, swapping out his heavy signature for a light signature, just a silenced uh, pistol. Nice, nice. And finally, Kui. Uh, Kui has uh, changed his assault hard suit and opt instead for a stealth hard suit, but he has kept the kind of a uh, assault hard suit uh, Woyo mask. Uh, mm -hmm. Its only notice, its only notable difference is that it is uh, more or less painted a different color. It is almost a com uh, completely crimson color, and when he decloaks from stealth, it is undoubtedly the first thing that people would see. Uh, he still has his medium AC Ikua, his a uh, vibrating Ikua. Uh, nice. He's brought along a kind of heavy. He and he also still has his uh, heavy signature rifle uh, that he hopes that he doesn't have to use. He's traded <laughs> out his uh, his handheld printer and his tertiary arm for data plating and a smart scope so he can better mark targets as they try to infiltrate. But uh, just just because he's still trying to keep an ear to the wall, he is. St he still has his uh, shield-shaped drone. Nice, nice. Okay, oh. I like it. So you, you all are well equipped. <clears throat> As night falls, you all exit Evergreen, and on the outside of Evergreen, um, um, just beyond the the clear cut, uh, um, the periphery of, or around Evergreen, uh, you see Brava, no longer carrying a big ass weapon, <clears throat> more so carrying a, 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 a slim and and form fitting. Um, uh, hard suit um, with some um, weapons, presumably, but you can't see them. Um, she's ready. And uh, Nasimbo is fully equipped in her Umboom Buluzo and has her helmet on. And uh, it looks mm, kind of like your mask, um, Kui, uh, but it's uh, completely covering. 
completely covering her face, and it's uh, all black with gold trim. And nice. uh, <clears throat> the symbol says, uh, Well, already then. I'm excited. I'd like to see you all's abilities firsthand. Please, follow me. And you all, you all uh, embark towards Lotus's compound. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're here. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys can't see this. Okay? No vision, no vision, mm -hmm. no vision. That's how dark it is. Wow. <laughs> there we go. I actually have a quick question for you, Shaka. Go ahead. It's pouring down rain, right? It's just Correct. Cats and dogs. Uh, right. The drone makes noise when it flies. Is it rainy? Is it rainy and thundery and stormy enough that you would that you can't hear the drone if it starts flying? Possibility. We'll see. Okay. Um. um I don't believe the we have to get shot out of the sky with lightning. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I can. I don't think you, I can give you guys control of your. I don't. I don't know how to do it. So just uh, okay. hard click where you want to want to go, and yeah, I can yeah. move your characters. Sure. It's not. It's okay. not gonna be like a con. Yeah, it's not gonna be like a combat or anything. I'm just gonna narratively move them um, yeah, where they yeah, should okay. go. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, what you all see, um, <clears throat> you have the rain uh, coming down hard above your above your heads. Um, you're uh, making your way through the the tall gr tall grass, and much like evergreen around Lotus's compound, there are walls, um, and uh, there's a bit of a clear cut, maybe a hundred foot clear cut um, from the uh, edge of the wall to the, um, the the forest line or the tall grass line. Um, these two red dots, right, red circles here, um, those are massive towers that have spotlights that are circling around, uh, um, around that periphery of Lotus's compound. Uh, Lotus is well funded. <laughs> Got a lot of, a lot of spare time. Um, those are these, are going great. Are these, um, like full walls or are they like chicken wire? Um, uh, they are in places they're like really full, uh, they're full walls, and with the brick strat, there's a, a like a retractable gates. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Um, you all see a lot of activity uh, going off in the distance. Um, it looks like uh, there's there's lights here, um, uh, there's also guards posted outside of, of the walls, um, who uh, appear to be on alert as they're um, not. Uh, dilly dallying around, they're really like searching and, and keeping an eye on the lookout for what's what's around. Um, one thing you guys do see coming on one of the roads um, is a really large vehicle on the top of this really large vehicle, and it's faint and it's raining, so it's kind of hard to make out. Um, is a really large mech, uh, but it's it's it just seemed to be a mech, uh, it's draped over with a, a, a heavy cloth. And it's uh, moving slowly um, into the walls. Let's say it's probably moving uh, to the right on this direction over here. Um, and it's moving on one of these roads into into the compound. Um, in, uh, let me see, let me just draw this out for you guys. In this direction. So it's yeah. probably like going this way and then like headed this way. It's headed to this red circle here or the, the building, uh, the collection of buildings over here. So um, this big one, I'm guessing, buildings. looks. Yeah, I'm guessing this one looks like an uh, aircraft hangar kind of thing for large unit storage. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's akin to the um, the uh, Evergreens uh, hangar that's at the governor's farm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything of note with the uh, other buildings that aren't a uh, circle, or is it kind of like just barracks and what have you? Um, you um. They look they look similar, yes. Uh, they're also as well guarded as the uh, the one that um, that I pointed to that looks like this big mech is going to. Um, the operation here is called Night Strike, and uh, your primary objective is to eliminate the sim a stem reserve that uh, Lotus is pushing out um, to um, the Grey Towns and to Evergreen. Um, Secondary objective is a little bit of hearsay, but also like uh, factual accounts of Lotus's people digging up subalterns. <laughs> and uh, as as that um, as I say that, another truck comes in, um, and it uh, pulls in and veers off the road over here, and enters through this gate. Uh, the spotlights focus on it, and it heads heads uh, heads in. This uh, truck 
is accompanied by what looks like a gaggle of subalterns that are walking by it. Um, they look to be normal from your distance, but you'd probably require a little bit more investigation to figure out what it is. Um, Brava says to you all, All right, we're here. Now, I propose we do a little bit of, we conduct ourselves with a little bit of tact and secrecy. Charging through the front gate, I believe, is a bad idea, so I propose uh, we try, try and find a way around those spotlights um, and, and get in there. We gotta find those sims, those stems. We don't, we don't want them being pushed out anymore. You guys have any other recommendations? You're the, you're the experts here. The symbol looks to you guys. Can uh, I see if I can uh, spot maybe a break in the defenses, like maybe an area where like you can get underneath the wall or over the wall or where the spotlights don't shine, something like that? Um, yeah. Um, do you have any like uh, pilot gear that help you out uh, with this? I have the, I have the, uh, my personal drone and I have the smart scope either. I'm, I imagine could do a little bit. Yeah, personal drones coming in at one difficulty, smart scope, you can just go ahead and throw it out. Okay, uh, just throw out the, I need to click it. <laughs> yeah, um, what triggers are you, are you uh, planning on using? Uh, spot, this is the spot cool. trigger. Yeah, go ahead. All right, and this is with the no difficulty, right? Uh, no difficulty. Okay. Hey, hey, you love to see hey. it. You love to see it. I love yeah, when a with good a... plan comes together, pulls out cigar. <laughs> with a twenty, you pull out your smart scope. It focuses it on the on the on the area, and you do catch notes of a, a few breaks in in the walls. Uh, it looks like the wall isn't as intact as you all believed it to be. It looks like they've also been experiencing a couple of uh, attacks. And uh, there's a portion of the wall that uh, is a bit weakened. Um, while still kind of in the periphery of the, the spotlights, the spotlights are mainly focused on the road. Um, you can probably, uh, if you wanted to, approach uh, off the road uh, through the tall grass and uh, make your way through this um, this crack in the wall, essentially. Um, relatively unseen. Relatively. Yeah. Relatively. I, I have a stealth suit. I can, I can make the relative go lower. <laughs> Do we want to have the stealth suit nerds go in and uh, disable the spotlight or spotlight so here's the rest? My thought. Um, Tanya doesn't have a stealth suit, right? No. Gear, mm -hmm. do you have a stealth suit or no? No. The uh, two support characters do not have um, a stealth suit. <laughs> <laughs> Two support characters, you say. I'm the third support character. Oh no! <laughs> this team is just this team is just in support. And Paying Kaiser. for the worst. He's gonna it's make like, Kaiser uh, so tough. It's oh, like yeah. when you play Overwatch, but before they had the two-two meta, <laughs> the two-two yeah. thing, where you just do all healers and then everyone buffs the metro. <laughs> God. Um, <laughs> but no, my thought. Cut out there, buddy. Uh, you cut it there, Kui. Uh oh, Kui, Kui, we, we, you're, you're really cut out. We can't hear you. Oh no! Lost this a good is... soldier before the thing started. <laughs> he just falls face first. It's just like, uh, oh, oh, just, oh is he okay? Away. Just looks no. like I didn't hit you that hard. <laughs> let me, uh, let me, let me type in chat so he knows we, we can't hear him. Uh, we can't hear you. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, there, there you go. Yeah, so. Hello, Katipe. Hello. I live again. There we go. Yeah, we got you. We got you. Sorry. Did I don't you know. Just... I don't know what the last thing it is that you heard me say. Uh, we didn't hear um, you say anything. Yeah, you uh, kind of cut it out uh, pretty early on. I think you were oh, saying uh, after making jokes about Symmetra, then you started saying the actual thing, and you cut out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the plan, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> the player leaves the game. <laughs> yeah. 
the plan uh, I was saying the people with stealth suits can go in uh, and then if we encounter a situation where we either need or want attention drawn away from a certain point Kanye since they have some since they have the talent that lets them make stuff go boom can make stuff go boom and we can communicate with them non-verbally because we have like the uh, the omni hooks or not uh, data plating <laughs> data plate <laughs> yeah data plating, data plating. Yep. I always in my brain wants to say something that isn't data so it's like eh. info but plating? yeah yeah something like that um but yeah we can communicate with Kanye to blow something up to draw attention while the rest of us kind of put put in the last bit of work that needs to be done That's my thought. I don't know if that's a plan everyone else has confidence in. I think if we can go l as long as possible without blowing something up as a distraction, the better. Because right now they're yeah, on yeah. alert for stuff. They don't. Ha they're not going. We're under attack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the I think a big thing is getting Kanye in because he's gonna be the hacker man for our secondary objectives. I was gonna suggest there's always the truck. Yeah. Um, I don't know how easy it would be for you to sneak your way into the truck, but like the so the second objective is you guys get your get your way in your in the truck, and then when the truck is inevitably like searched or whatever, we make it so that search is as unsuccessful as possible. That's the best way I can imagine getting Kanye in, because I don't think. Uh, anyone, I don't think Kanye or Gear have any like move oh. without being seen type talents. Well, either that or like the the watchtowers are a significant threat. Uh, if the stealth boys can go in and at least blind those, even temporarily, don't turn them off, but yeah. like deal with the folks. Yeah, yeah. Spinning them that, around. That's that's a, a, that's we could do the, the classic. Uh, I was worried about. We could do the classic Metal Gear Solid and just turn off the generator and have them get confused. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm about it. I don't know. All it just makes it harder off. to hack. Surely this is on? just something, a small problem. <laughs> Let me go turn what? the generator back on. <laughs> oh, it's What's been like exploded. The, uh, it's like the mission. It's like the Mission Impossible thing where you turn off the lights long enough, like just while they're doing the search. And then, like, as they increasingly get frustrated, turn it back on. It's like, oh, well, whatever, going through. But yeah, when we were first saying take out the lights, I was like, I don't know. I think if we shoot the light bulb, they're going to know something's up. And, uh, the people behind the light. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take out the people behind the light. I, th I think we can do that. Maybe. Yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> I mean, we have Kaiser. He can do creepy things to them. <laughs> they look over I'm it's the like <laughs> they look over it's like hey it, it's jimmy's patterns have been a little weird look over at him he's J jimmy's waving at them <laughs> the camera pans over jimmy's dead on the floor and it's kaiser waving it's, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, just, it's just kaiser going i am the milkman my milk is delicious <laughs> no uh -huh. the symbol chimes <clears throat> the symbol chimes in and says uh you lancers have the the left horn order and do you disappoint me. Standard operating procedure in these missions is a hack into the enemy's comms network. I propose maybe one of you do that. Mm. That's something we can do. Or is that only something that we right horns think about? No, it's good. Wow. I just think I need to get closer first. If I'm wrong about that, great. Uh, yeah, but my I think you can do anything outside. Yeah, if I can do shit from here, great. But I was assuming I needed to get closer first. <laughs> you have Omni Hook. I do have Omni Hook. You good? I'm good. Oh, yeah. I, I can certainly start with that. Hacker man, I'm in. Uh, yeah. So give me a give me a roll and um, man, uh, add your trigger. trigger. What trigger? What trigger are you doing? Hacker fix. Sounds good. Um, come on. Yes. Hey. Uh, Thirteen. <laughs> you get a temporary patch in to a limited. It's limited time uh, patch into uh, Lotus's uh, uh, comms network here. Um, the information that you pull out 
um, is uh, comms chatter about um, anticipating an impending attack from uh, um, just outside forces. There are some notes about um, them being from um, what they call the High Syrians, and then other notes about them being from uh, the uh, malfunctioning subalterns. Um, it seems like they're definitely expecting an attack from either one of these two groups, and that attack might happen soon. Um, there are also some comms chatter about uh, get the machine um, uh, in the in the workshop um, for it to be uh, evaluated and, and cleaned up. Um, and you don't get many comms about the the stem reserves, but um, that's pretty much all you get as a comms channel com breaks out. Well, we may have the distraction we want. Mm. But do we want to try? I don't and think do I want to be. Yeah. I don't think I want to be trapped here when our distraction comes. That said, if they're working on fixing up that old mech, if we need to, we could try and go out in a... in a <laughs> catastrophous uh, uproar. <laughs> we just need to oh, lose it's... them afterward. Yeah, I hate, I hate the fact that I'm on the same page as you. <laughs> Get in, take the mech. Brava, Brava says, uh, Brava says, uh, she didn't hear what the comm said. It was only given to you. And she says, um, did you learn anything? You found a way in? Yeah. Uh, they're also expecting company. So this will be a little trickier. However, I think they're expecting big company, not quiet company. Got people there. Sure. Think we could save them? If they're expecting an attack, I I don't want to lose anyone. They're just they're, well they're just fortified. regular colonists on Evergreen. They're incredibly well fortified. Yes, uh, they have more than enough to uh, defend themselves from a Hassanian attack or a subaltern attack, which is what they're fearing. So you don't need to worry about that. Just worry about the mission. Is that truck with the uh, mech still coming down? Um, it looks like it's making its slow trudge. It's uh, inside the the borders um, now, but it looks like it's just still okay. making its slow trudge to the to the, the workshop. Never mind then. Uh, never mind. Never mind then. So I was gonna ask something, but if it's inside the walls now, then I don't need to ask. Um, you probably see a couple other uh, smaller vehicles um, still making their way inside the, the colony if you were thinking something special. Um, but oh, Brava's going to be visually perturbed by uh, what you said because uh, she, while she's here to eliminate the stem reserves, she still has concerns for her people. Mm -hmm. I was, I was going to ask just if I could roll something again, which is invent and create to see if I could... To see if maybe we could get like a, because one of the things you can get is approaches, invent approach to a problem. Uh, kind of see if I could use that to get like hints as to what might work in terms of getting our non-stealthy boys in. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to roll for that. Um, you um, get the sense with your skill. Uh, you probably would be able to um, hijack one of these cars. They're not headed in in any. Um, kind of guarded way um there's a slow stream of maybe a four or five that head in every like five or six minutes okay uh can we t can i tell just like using the scope if they if the vehicle is like if there's any kind of check like they check for identification or anything like that um, no there's not like there's a check at all okay from where you're at doesn't like there's a check for, maybe for, like a uh, like a visual confirmation but like no like uh, ids and stuff Hey, I've seen your face before. Continue. Yep. Okay. Well, we know a man who takes faces. And don't you have the same ability currently? Uh, I can make myself look different. I can't take a face quite yet. Uh, I see. He's He's got the full Total Recall full thing. Sweet. Well, we just need one face taken. So, are we <laughs> hijacking a, a truck? Seems so. Alrighty. Um, the other option is that that uh, Kaiser and I go through and turn off one of the spotlights just long enough for you guys to follow. 
that right. might draw a little bit of attention. So and yeah, it doesn't have to the... be turned off. Just the people behind it have to be rendered <clears throat> not an issue. I mean, there's guards at the gate too, right? Yeah, there's guards everywhere. Yeah, uh, yep. I think everywhere. the car idea might be our best shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have an escape route, if nothing else. Yeah. Okay. Escape. Um, so yeah, if that's if you guys want to go that way. Um, fortunately, there is a car that veers off the path and doesn't head into the, the compound and heads uh, off on this road uh, towards you all's direction. It's moving slowly. Um, maybe they forgot some, who knows, but it's heading to you guys' direction. You guys are in the tall grass and uh, presumably hidden. Hmm. I don't really have any talents for to particularly help to uh, help with this. Is the truck so. comcon operated? Um, you don't know. Um, it's kind of hard to see with all the rain and stuff. Yeah. Um, Katipe could use his little zoomy scopey scope uh, to see yeah, if there's a driver or not. My smart scope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart use your smart. Guy. Use your smart scope and uh, you zero in two drivers. Oh, a passenger and a driver. Cool beans. Okay. Uh, let's let's get them drivers then, shall we? I don't know the best way to do this, so this is where I am gonna ask to actually roll invent or create. Uh, because I'd like uh, to in, invent or create a tool to get the tr to get the truck to stop. I, mean, uh, I have an um, idea, but it's probably very stupid. We could use Kaiser disguised as some vulnerable looking person that is panicked, and then they might come out of the car, and then we jump them. But I don't know if that'll work. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, Kaiser could disguise himself as one of uh, Bravo's defective people. True uh, enough. If he knows what they look like and what they sound like, I assume. I don't know if they have video of them, of at least one of them in like combat footage he could like mimic. Totally, yeah. Uh, you've got a lot of combat footage that you've received from Yuki, so you've got a host of faces you can steal. Oh, yeah. Walks in with oh, like patience. A thousand faces. <laughs> so you could um, like try and hail them down as one of the soldiers and like say that you got jumped by some subalterns earlier that got aggressive or something or like some Hassanians. Oh, you, you guys know that uh um lotus is continually accept, accepting defective sold uh, militia members from evergreen so that's always an option oh, okay too. if he's just nice. accepting them then yeah so hello um, i am here else? to defect at the middle of the night <laughs> don't who think about it skin? Because the other person with info skin could disguise himself as yeah. random, random defector number two, and then we could both go in. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm down for it. <laughs> hey, I've got another defector, and he's a hacker. Oh. Nice, nice. Um, so Nasimbo and Brava uh, will hear this plan, and they'll just tell you that uh, they're here for backups should things go array. Um... This vehicle approaches closer. Um, you guys go ahead and play it out. Yeah, so Kaiser is gonna take the face of um, the most, some what some of the most recent defectors, and also its voice, cause photo scholar. Um, um, mm -hmm. And they're gonna approach the truck and try to hail them down. Kanye changes his yeah. visage to a blonde Italian. <laughs> Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, uh, you walk out from the tall grass into the middle of the road. Uh, the vehicle keeps pressing on until its lights uh, fixate on you. Uh, you guys look deer, look like deer in the headlights. It comes to a, a screeching halt as the mud kind of flies out in the, in the area. Um, one of the, the, the guards uh, honks their horn. Um, uh, right as that happens, uh, uh, Thunder strike kind of rings out and it kind of muffles that. You, what do you assume is kind of muffles that that horn? And um, another person kind of partially opens the door, the driver, and says, Get out the damn road! What are you doing out here? It's late! 
raining. What good price is going to be out here? Uh, our truck got stuck, so we need someone. We need a ride in. Your truck got stuck. He kind of pulls in and, and, and looks like he's having a bit of a conversation with the other person. Um, uh, Key, if you're still looking at your smart scope, they both shrug and they, he kind of pops his head back out and says, Well, fuck, it's. Come over here. It's better than staying out here in the rain. If you got any weapons, put them down. Where are you from? Uh, from Evergreen. Uh, and then he's gonna say, like, because he has the surveillance information, like, the area of Evergreen he's from. The soldier he's sold gotcha. that identity of. Gotcha. Uh, the person says, uh, <laughs> more defectors. All right, well, the getting's good, so Lotus is always accepting new folks. Sure. Come on in, but, uh, we we'll have to uh, make sure that you're not you're unarmed. You never know with these uh, Hyserians out. Any weapons? You don't look like Hyserians to me, but uh, you never can be sure. He... Any weapons that the two leave behind, uh, I will go. I will feel free and pick up. Uh, so I he can will smuggle them in. He will give off the gun, but he will keep hidden the the collapsed uh, Ikua. <coughs> okay. Cool. It's a strange uh, weapon to be bringing to <laughs> out here. <laughs> it ain't got no equals out here. Yeah, no. It, it just looks like a collapsed uh, thing. It, oh, it, it doesn't look like an Iqua until it's extended. So nice, nice. Could be nice, a freaking nice. telescope for all they know. <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> gear, gear. What you, what you doing? Uh, I'm holding tight until. Uh, the I mean, uh, who, who's who's the other person? Yeah, it was you, gear. Yeah, it was you, gear. Yeah. It was Kaiser and Kanye. Oh, Kaiser, uh, Kaiser, Kaiser. I'm sorry, Kaiser. What, what, what weapons are you throwing down? Um, I'm gonna throw down my. Uh, both of my weapons, actually. Interesting. Okay. This doesn't include the uh, blade arms that he has as part of his uh, mutant status. Chaka said no to play Mark, so I. I no. Yeah. Yeah. No, man. He, he's more of an ape fist <laughs> guy. Bone gun. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So uh, the vehicle, the vehicle starts back up again and, and pulls towards uh, you guys with um, the driver kind of half in, half out, uh, and it's cussing. It says, "Fuck! I hate this planet." Uh, and this, the, the wind keeps coming, the rain keeps coming down. They hop off, uh, landing with a thud in the in the, in the mud, uh, and they approach you too, uh, giving you a good, uh, giving you a good once over, um, um, and. Uh, they say, uh, like, what are you doing out here so late? Why would you usually what if somebody accepts defectors uh, during the daytime? You never know. Prize yeah. night. It's... Let's just right. say that uh, this fella here, he's a special case in that uh, they're keeping eyes on him because he's pretty important. Uh, they're, they're cracking down on defectors. I don't know if you've heard recently, been Evergreen. Recently, yeah, yeah. I hear that uh, NHP there, patience. I was only there for a minute, and then uh, I uh, had to skedaddle. I wasn't down with whatever the Adina and patience had going on there. The rules are too strict, essentially. The Lotus is Lotus. You'll find that Lotus uh, provides for uh, their own. Come on, hop on. I'll take you into the to the compound. Okay, <laughs> I'll go forward. Good to be working yeah, with you so. for a handshake. Out of character. Yeah, they... I see what's happening. Out of character. I was either thinking of basically ambushing these two fellas either outside or like inside the car. Uh, They're currently so... outside, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, all of you, yeah, all, all of you guys look, are getting inside the car now. It looks like uh, Kanye is going for a totally normal and Totally not murderous intended uh, handshake, though. Yep. Uh, totally not spring loaded collapsible Ikua handshake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I pulled out. I don't know what you're talking key, about. Key forward. I pulled out key forward. Hey, it's, um, here, uh, let me place my go. hand over your heart for no reason in particular. I so, is that what you're like going? You're, you're going? You're going to take someone out, essentially? Yeah, yeah I don't have points on that. Idea. I have stay cool. I don't have to take someone out. I don't know. Are both I think of them carrying cool. weapons? 
Um, yeah, they're carrying weapons, um, but uh, they seem to put him in the car as they uh, looks like you guys are defenseless and you put any weapons. Did both of them okay. get out? Uh, no, the one in the passion sheets kind of stayed in. <laughs> uh, I am. Uh, t- okay, quick question, Shaka. Yeah. Can, can lead and inspire be used to inspire someone not to make a decision that's going to end their life? <laughs> Um, you uh, don't have to use lead and inspire. You have data playing, so you can just, you can tell them stuff. But as far as like mechanical benefit, this is uh like no no. I, I'm show. taking the shot. Yeah, I was more so talking about <laughs> like making a red dot appear on his chest or something. <laughs> just yeah, kind of deal. I mean, we're in. A, I'm in a stealth suit, so like I don't know how how close I can get necessarily without being seen since. It's and raining, finished- and stealth suits don't make you truly invisible, to my understanding. Uh, I think so in you're, you're conditions are probably pretty close. Yeah, yeah. You're suggesting you're gonna approach them as uh, they're talking right now. Well, like if if the plan is for Kanya and Kaiser basically to take out the one who got out of the car, I wanted to be positioned so that I could like decloak right next to the one who's in the car. Like, mm, don't think you want to do that, honey. Interesting, Oops. interesting. Yeah, um, I will say you can do that, and you will be rolling for all three of you. Oh shit! <laughs> so you can uh, oh. you can uh, sneak your way through um, across the road, um, uh, meandering through the spotlights uh, into back into the tall grass, and approach on the passenger side of this vehicle. Um, they haven't detected you. You have a stealth suit, and it's raining. And it's raining. Uh, but yeah, like like I said, the question. It, well, I only want to do that if Kanya is actually going to try to take them out. If Kanye, if that's not what Kanya is doing, then I'm not worried about doing that. I'll admit it's what I wanted to do. <laughs> is that the is that the agreed upon plan? Just because otherwise, I'm not sure how gear is getting in. Who that, needs a plan? Uh, I'm getting in the car after you guys have yeah. murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Okay. Kaiser's not planning on murdering. He's just taking someone out. I'm not gonna. So. So what would I need to roll, Shaka? What triggers do you have? I have invent or create, read a situation, lead or inspire, and spot. I would say none of those apply. Yeah. I have stay cool. <laughs> um, read. I feel like in this circumstance, stay cool would probably apply because it's a high pressure, like adrenaline running yeah. kind of thing. And it's and this is literally being tricking the person into thinking it's just a handshake, but it is a murder shake. I have hacker fix. I could hack his hand off. Oh. <laughs> I would say, uh, I would say, uh, <laughs> I would say, Kui, you can take an action because uh, of this diversion uh, from Kanye and uh, and uh, Joseph. <laughs> but uh, no All triggers right. apply. All right. I said could. I could this, action. This will be. Yeah, I say you're good. And yeah, take an accuracy. Okay, take I an accuracy. I could make you automatically succeed. Talents do not apply in narrative. Ah, uh, this one that actually does. Oh. What does it say? Impact. What did, what did it say? Click uh, it. Let me... I think I did. I don't know if it still uh. does. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, we're still... I do have an old version of Wallflower, so... Give me a sec here. Uh, it's uh, Empath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Compcon. Compendium. Triggers, triggers, triggers. Skill trigger. No, this was a talent. This was Empath. Yeah, talent. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Uh... Yeah, character ma- allied character makes a line of sight in line of sight makes a skill check attack or save. Um, it doesn't say specifically that it's in or out of combat. It just says you. Uh, the yeah. Sent, yeah. So, that, that's where skill triggers. Uh, well, skill is it say a skill check or say trigger? Uh, checks. Yeah, so that's that's all combat. Yeah. All right. So basically, would I just like be making an attack with accuracy? If I make uh, yes, um, it's it's all three of you that are uh, doing this together. You're Got just you. rolling for yeah. You're initiating the thingy. 
So I have accuracy, but no kind of bonus. So it's just a flat D20 with the with the one D six on top. Yep. Yeah. Okay. They get over oh. ten. That's it. Good luck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, nice. Right. You guys want to narrate? You want to narrate how you take out the fast and the other two take out the the guy that's uh, the person that's um um escorting you back into the vehicle. <laughs> I would uh I would uh prefer Kanye to narrate how he takes out the person who's outside the vehicle, and then I will take out the person who's inside the vehicle. Uh, the guy just goes for, goes for the handshake, and as they meet, um, immediately the back end of the spring loaded Ikwa goes right into his face, and Kaiser's just right behind <coughs> him into the rear naked <laughs> choke. Shit! Oh, fuck. oh. Yeah, we see blood squirt off his <laughs> face. <laughs> He's alive, I but uh, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> yeah. Does he uh, want to be right now? <laughs> probably not. He's in Kaiser's uh, hands, so. <laughs> sim simultaneously, um, what are you doing, Key? I like to. The way I imagine uh, it is that simultaneously, the whoever the guard who is in the uh, passenger seat probably is just kind of watching this interaction go go happen in the uh headlights and uh then they just suddenly see kaiser behind the person and a blade half through this person's face and as they oh it's, it's, the, it's the back it's a back it's the back end, end. The back i didn't end. kill him yeah back oh end. it's okay okay yeah. they, they see kaiser they see this person's head lurch back uh and kaiser put them in a chill code and as they kind of like unbuckle themselves and open the door to get out in the window of the door you can kind of you see the reflection of <laughs> like a, just a red mask appearing a fucking leopard can i ask you a the, question i uncloak <laughs> you see the uncloak and you hear the vroom of uh the yeah vi the vibration of qtepi's ikua and yes he hits them with the tell me which is more dangerous <laughs> and then it's just gone. yeah it's just a yeah, this guy's tied up. Totally, totally. All right, nice. I like that. That exactly happens. As uh, they're both knocked unconscious, tied up on the side of this car, this truck, and you guys have commandeered this vehicle. Um, you get through the comms of this vehicle, uh, um, a message that says, "All around, all all surrounding vehicles, come back to come back to the compound. There's movement in the east quadrant." That's not okay. our quadrant. That's the other quadrant. He doesn't sound right. Um, yeah. I the guess reddening. Focus on they differ from uh, the front and point towards the east quadrant. Excellent. Okay. So I think it's um, time to move. Me and the uh, Nisimba and Brava will probably come over now, seeing that we uh, have acquired a vehicle. Nasimbo and Brava are quickly behind, unless you ah. really want them to come. Unless you really want them to come. Let's... We need someone to look okay. over that. Um, what's friends. their plan? I guess I'll uh, I'll be asking while the murder is happening. <laughs> uh, Brava is um, going to make sure that anyone that's retreating, uh, should things go away, uh, saving you all and saving um, uh, any uh, potential uh, uh, defecting militia. Hopefully, she can. Uh, defecting defectors come back. yeah <laughs> defecting defectors, defectors yeah and the most then, reliable uh, soldiers <laughs> nocimbo is like a trigger waiting to be pulled uh, okay. she's, uh she, yes she has her eyes on our escape route i imagine just because yeah i would definitely say that all right cool well i'll head over to the car um going through the toll grass right. welcome to the car you all so are in this vehicle. Who's driving? <laughs> who's driving? Who has their license? Who's I imagine driving? Kaiser. Yeah. Just because they can I, copy yeah. the face of one of these guys. Yeah, he's gonna take the face of the driver and his voice as they heard him talk. He's just gonna. Can we ask a? Uh, can we ask Nasimba to pick up these guys so that they don't die? In yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, just for, forgot to forgot to mention that. Rob is gonna head over to them first and see if she recognizes them. Uh, are, they, are they from the Greytowns, or are, are they like folks she knows um, from the militia? Um, you guys don't get the sense that, uh, well, you, you head off before you figure that out, um, but uh, yeah, Bravo and Nocimbo bring them back um, to your your deployment zone. Um, before we run away, Kanye will just look at one of them and just copy hair color and ethnicity, and we'll just move <laughs> on from there. Dope, dope. <laughs> 
Very tanskin individual with uh, with brown hair. So, um, uh, Katipe, you can just be invisible, I guess. But I, yeah, I'm just sitting in the the trunk of the. <laughs> I consider I, I yeah, yeah. Like a pickup truck for some reason. Um. Uh. Do 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 do. Uh. Gosh. Uh, I'm imagining more stop. military uh, gear, transport. Yes. But... Yeah, I was gear, thinking of you, um, In the back of this, aren't gear... these guys kind of like just like like militiamen uh, almost? Anyway, yeah, yeah, they uh, are better, better militiamen. Uh, gear in the back of this vehicle. Better militiamen. Uh, oh my gosh. You, uh, <laughs> you see, uh, kind of in between, um, who are sitting in the back, uh, and you guys, you just noticed this. In between uh, them are these uh, the weapons that these individuals are carrying. They are not like weapons you would print from a modern printer. They are pretty fucking old, and they look like they got a little bit of rust on them. Okay. Um. Cool. Uh, he is gonna pop that into their brain, basically, and be like, "I'm gonna have a look at this when I can." But um, <laughs> considering their own mission, they're thinking more. Where can I hide in this car? So is there a uh, a boot, Can't which I think a... you Americans called a trunk? <laughs> yeah, uh, be... there's a. There... Go ahead. I was just gonna ask. Can like it's not like these guys know. The face of everyone who's ever been in Evergreen couldn't use you are another defector. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, it just depends on how, I guess, famous we are at this point in fair the local enough, area. Fair enough. My apologies. Like, because yeah. Gear is generally fairly anonymous looking, but I feel like if someone had seen like a video of them in combat, they'll probably put two and two together. Though gotcha. I feel uh, their um, mech would be more famous than them, but mm -hmm. uh, obviously uh, I'm not GM, so I don't yeah, run I the would, NPCs. I would say you guys are uh, you're pretty couple that are pretty uh, unknown. Uh, you probably oh. people that have arrived on Evergreen, but uh, there's like no camera of your battles or any, no video recording of your battles, and you guys are uh, yeah new faces oh uh, uh, I'll, I'll sit in the um back seat then and have a look at those uh rifles all righty then let me just organize this a little bit then so i joseph is driving who's else in the front seat uh i'll be in the front seat with him okay and then keep back seat uh, it's a pretty pretty tight uh vehicle here it's uh looks like a combat vehicle so it's uh got kind of like a spartan um uh, set up in here. There is a back trunk um, to this this vehicle, but it's got like a, a drape over it that is kind of tied down with bungee cords and stuff. Looks like something's behind it, but who knows what's what's in it. Okay. Um. Can so I these. Oh, oh. What'd you say? Can I take a pixie? Yeah. Um. You can take a pixie. Um. You uh. Before you get in, uh. You just kind of uh, cut one of the strings and it, it goes loose and, uh. It kind of flaps up in the in the wind. Uh. And you see a pile of subalterns. Some of them still moving. This will. This this is a special tool for later. Um. Yeah. Some of them are still moving though. Yeah. That is pretty well bunched up and bungee tied down. So, uh, what do you have to say next play? Uh, that, uh, I the, would the like fog lights to are look... facing away from you guys from now. Yeah. For, for right now. Um, sorry to hold it up, but um, Gear would like to look over those um, old rifles to see if there's any, um, you know, branding on them or anything noteworthy. Yeah, they look they've been pretty well cleaned up. Um, but they don't look like, like I said, they don't like modern Union weapons. Um, definitely not anything that's been printed off from SSC printers. Uh, they look like they've been here for a while. I would say one of them probably um, has some um, Titan on it. Uh, some like, like the the butt of the gun, the thing that you put on like at the you, you rest on your your shoulder yep. like oh, to fire the rifle. Yeah, stock. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, it's it's all built out of Titan. Made out of what? Like. Insect arm. Chitin. Oh, chitin. Well, right. Yeah, yeah, my Australian internet's yeah. deciding to kick in right now, so it's slightly <laughs> crackly. Uh, so I'm cursed. So the stocks are made of chitin. Ooh, Insect you. armor. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, you guys tell me what you want to do. Let's blow this popsicle stand and get in. 
Hell yeah. All righty. So as you all approach and move in, um, there's a there's a guard there, but they just kind of wave you off, um, and they rush towards the uh, east part of the, the the compound. You all make your way in. The message uh, uh, comes in again and says, "There's definitely contact over there. Contact everyone. Put get your gears together. Grab the weapons. Defend, defend the the package. Everything that's non-critical. Leave it alone. Prepare yourself. We're under attack." And um, to the east, you see, you start to hear about a bunch of fire and like guns being fired from the walls. Um, nothing, I mean, you guys over here are kind of okay. Doesn't like the attacks happening over here, but uh, something is definitely fucking going down on the east uh, part of this compound. Let's hurry up. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, um, so, where do, do we? Go? So, do we want to go as one unit all together into um, the main objective and then? Uh, secondary objectives, or do we want to split into two groups and two do the well, main, two do the small? Our objective currently is w w what are all of our objectives? Destroy the stem, the stem supply. Yep. Yeah. And supply. then basically find info. Steal um, mech. I, uh, I wrote yeah, down. Yeah, I was about to say, can I add an additional objective to look at mech? <laughs> 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 Um, you can if you want to, yeah. Uh, Brava has her own objective. She wants uh, you all to not kill and save as much as many people as you can. Yeah. But save, um, the, other, the, defectors. the other um, written down objective was to find out more about the subaltern plot. That yeah, is so, the, the primary second objective, yes. So we need to get, so to my understanding, we need to get Kanya somewhere where information is being stored so they can basically pull it. Um, yeah. We need to draw the defectors to a location where we can try to inspire them to maybe not be defectors. Um, Is this so, really what you want to throw your life away for? Yeah. That's going to be like almost impossible. You get the sense that Brava said that as like a, a fleeting dream. That, yeah, it's like, okay, okay. Like it's really possible. If it if it's not possible, okay. Since that one's not a real objective, the other objective is to destroy the catch, which means we need to uh, get Brava or at least someone else who can figure out a way to mess up the supply to the to the up. supply. Yeah, Bra Kanye can blow it up. I don't know. I, I, maybe I can like invent a, a way to mess to tamper with it so it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. And then look at Cool Mech, which, again, we're probably going to need Kanya or I for, because I don't know if anyone else has engineering skills. Yeah. So... Um, let me clarify a few things for you so you can make a better decision. Um, to the right, where that the big red circle is, that's where that the big mech is just now being more hurriedly pulled in. You see the, the tail end of this big truck um, going in. Well, you don't know if it's a mech, but it looks like a mech uh, from like the silhouette of the drapery. Uh, it's like just now being pulled in. Yeah, it's uh, looks like a mech. Looks like a mech. Um, yeah, it's uh, just now being pulled into this building. Um, it looks like from this collect these collection of buildings to your left, they're um, look like they're being buttoned up and not buttoned up, but rather like secured pretty well. Like the doors are being locked. Um, there's probably uh, a few guards on the outside too, just making sure that these things are are very secure. Um, and, uh, yeah, to your right there, um, you do see combat happening, like, far to your right on the other end of the, the compound. Um, there is only fire coming from one direction, and that's the direction of the PMC. There's not fire coming from the other direction, but there, uh, you got on the radio that there are folks being killed, being killed. Uh, as, like, there's, like, oh, get them! Get them! And you hear, it's the fucking subalterns! Get them! Okay, okay. So... How do we want to do this? Because uh, I feel like one of these places. Me... Oh, sorry. One... Um... <laughs> one of these places. Uh, one of these places is in, uh, is next to, if not in, imminent danger. So I feel like we should hit that before it, in theory, becomes a battleground. Yeah. Yeah. You, get I you guys can't have help to go enough... green. You guys get the sense you have enough time to probably do one of these things, not not both. What if we split up? Uh, it would make it. I would make each check each check risky and difficult. Mm -hmm. That is. Uh... 
rather okay. not. So I know, I know we want, I know we want to destroy the things, but if this place is gonna get destroyed anyway, you know, it doesn't I mean? seem like it's gonna get destroyed. It's just a, uh, it's, it's, it seems like it's a smaller attack, but it might increase. Who knows? Yeah, got you. Here is here's my potential suggestion. If we can get that mech up and walking, we can just shoot the building that has the <laughs> catch true. as we walk it out. That is I mean, moving the mech is going to be loud no matter what we do. So we so if we're going to if we take the mech and we start being loud, we might as well end loud by just blowing up everything on our way out the door. If you oh, I'm dumb. Uh, uh, there, there, there will be re Yeah, there will be repercussions. Uh, with uh, Brava, you'll damage your relationship with Brava severely. Oh, Brava, I'm so sorry. But, but if I we make it look like we're fighting, you. <laughs> if we make it look like we're heading off to fight the subalterns and then bust our way through the bottom gate and out into the night, that's another thing. True enough. There, is, there are options it... to be had here when we have more information. Yeah. Uh, do we have time to look at both options, or once we go one direction, we're committed to that yeah. direction? Yeah, once you, once, once you choose, you choose. Okay, everybody. How, how much will it hurt you if you see Bravo <laughs> cry? Because <laughs> um... Tutepi's scum. I'm going to be honest. I mean, um, I, I Gear's would, already I seen me. Bravo in a state, so they're not phased. Uh, they also are the sort to prioritize a successful mission yes. rather than a humanitarian, like, nice, happy yeah. sunshine mission. I would yeah, also say... Uh, um... A little depression is good for you. <laughs> exactly! Yeah. I diagnose you uh, with uh, not enough <laughs> depression. Uh, here is a pill that will make you sad as fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll also... Lock your receptors. <laughs> I'll also I'll also say that, and I feel like I need to disclose this. Um, not doing the primary objective, destroying the stem supply, will weaken Evergreen's defenses. So not only damage relationship with Brava, but it will weaken Evergreen's defenses. And you guys just increased Evergreen's defenses with the uh, the bowl mission. So um, That's fair. there's a there's I a clock like associated is, with this. I feel like this is a weird situation of like Chekhov's mech, where I feel like this mech is gonna come back to haunt us. <laughs> I mean, what? the mech what? is what? in a combat Shock. situation. <laughs> the mech in a combat situation, we can deal with that. I mean, we're, we're decent at fighting. But um, I think the original idea that um, I think it was good to be had of um, we snatch the mech and then blow everything else up um, can work. It'll just be, you know, loud and ugly. Well, yeah, um, but if we would I... still... We would still fulfill the stem reserve objective if we just do that. Yeah, I think I think that's something I want to have the clarifying question for for Shaka, which is if we do take the mech and then shoot the stem reserves with the mech, does that feel that does does that fulfill the objective of destroying um, the stem reserves? Um, not comprehensively, but um, it may it may stall it maybe. Um, information yeah, information is more valuable here for stopping the stims. I feel. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I don't get the sense that I'm pushing you. I'm not pushing you towards the the stims uh, because no, no. it's a fucking mech. It's a fucking mech, right? Like who knows? It's a cool mech, but it it is a thing where, in the very least, if we stop the stims and get information on the mech, then we can probably have a better way to take it down. And maybe maybe putting it on the table, uh, maybe we can get the mech at a later date. So, you know. This che this is Chekhov's mech. Shock is going to bring it back. And when he does, I'm stealing it. Oh, My God. mech now. <laughs> uh, another idea is we could have Katipe in the stealth suit investigate what's going on in that hangar, and then the rest of us just go blow the thing up. Yeah, um, can, I invest can I investigate, but like not take any real action besides just checking it out? Um, yes, I also say there's there's a there's a time thing here. So um, if you investigate, uh, the rest of the team will have one less person to do what they want to do over there. 
true. Are you guys fine with that? What is the consequence I, of them having one less person? I feel like you could just hand Kaiser some explosives and he'll can deal with the snakes. Yeah, so we've got Kanye and Kaiser both know how to blow shit up. And Kanye has the data knife, so if we find a terminal, we're able to get our information that we wanted. So I think the three of us uh, are capable of that. And like, there's me for extra hands if needed. So it looks like uh, Joseph's head over there, Kui and uh, Kanya and Kier over here. Is that right? Is that I you two? Right. Wait, so it's going to be Kanya, Gear, and myself investigating the mech in uh, Joseph's blowing up the stash or Joseph. Oh, I thought it was the other way around. Yeah. I thought it was, it's yeah. Be... yeah it's, Who's blowing up the stash? It's um, the three, three of us. The stash oh, and the invisible, the and the mm -hmm. invisible person's looking around. Got you. Okay, cool. Uh, Sorry about that, Shaka. No, you're fine. You're fine. Um, Cool. Uh, You guys want to play out how you're getting out of this car, rushing over and and doing your jazz. Um, the check for you three uh, blowing up the stash will not be risky. It will still be difficult. Um, um, and then the check for you, Kaiser, um, you just wait, wait. Uh, define, think, define what you're... What? Is, is Kaiser going over there or am I going over there? I thought it was to Tiffany Woods. Um, the yeah, invisible. I think I'm going oh, over there. there. Yeah, because you're literally there. invisible and cannot be seen. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. A very right, useful so, yeah. asset. So, uh, yeah, Kui, um, in your um, uh, uh, predator suit, uh, the check for you um, will also not be risky, but it'll be too difficulty. Too oh, difficulty. Uh, I'm just trying to check it out, see what's over here. So, can I use spot? Um, yeah. To get a, it's a closed facility, right? So you have, you would have to get in. Um, so okay. using spot would assume you're you assume you're getting in. Got you, got you. So trying to get in and it's too difficult, right? Correct. You can use spot, but it's uh you're getting a good look at it as as you as you as you march in. Got you. Okay. Wish me luck, dudes. <laughs> luck. Oh no! Oh, oh, wow! It rolled on an eighteen, then a fourteen, and then it was like, "Nah, four. You get a four. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. um, I imagine we'll I don't you. get in. Then we'll we'll pause. We'll pause on you. We'll see what happens. We'll pause on you. We'll pause uh, on you have the three. Uh, you have the three. Make it over to these uh, uh these um uh these buildings here. Um, you approach a group about uh. A group of about, uh, let's just call them a group of uh, um, uh, Lotus's guards. Um, they are, uh, they're going to see you if you approach at any angle. Um, what's your, what's your um, pr process? No, do we know the specific building we're trying to blow up, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it would be, it would likely be a collection of these buildings, yeah. Oh. But you don't have to do I a thought... check for each, each single building. It would just be like, you do a check and then like, that happens. <laughs> Kaiser's just gonna activate his stealth suit. Cool. Um, do you have an idea for what me and uh, Kanye should do? I have um, an idea. Oh, what's your idea? Essentially, we can't uh, avoid the guards uh, seeing them. So essentially, we've got someone in medical gear. Literally, it's like, okay, just going through, making sure everyone's uh, fighting good addition in case the worst um uh, be back back to the front before you know it <laughs> i love that idea yeah i i could go play doctor <laughs> yeah do either of you have charge i have stay cool i mean <laughs> i have stay cool and patch so i could literally just be full-on checking them out as though they were you know my patients and just being yes Yes, 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 good. Your your heart rate's good. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, if that's what you guys want to go about it, yeah. We can do is, that. Is, that, <laughs> is that what we want to do, guys? Yeah, I like the sound kind of, of that. just going to hang out in case you uh, um, take someone down. And just to like kind of sell it a little more, Kanye's carrying one of the um, uh, one of the chitinous uh, rifles. 
Yeah. Oh, ooh, um, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Gear's also going to take out um, sort of some of their medical equipment to be like in their hands so they look more the part like they're rushing around checking everyone. Nice, nice. All right. Um, so yeah, you guys, you guys, I'm gonna make you roll. Uh, but she's be scared about that. Um, you guys uh, move forward, um, approaching in the ways that you you described. Um, wait, Kaiser, are you still in your cell suit or no? Yeah. Still okay, cool. ghosted. Right. Cool. So uh, Kaiser, you're ghosted, uh, but you gear and you uh, Kanya, uh, you approach uh, the way you described. Uh, two lights go on you from look like they're just from rifles that are mounted on the rifles. Um, they don't start to shoot or anything. They recognize uh, you all as uh, other paramilitary. Um, and they uh, they say, uh, what's going on in the East Bank? Who are there any survivors? The comms are going down. It's uh, we're being engaged. Being broadcasted. Uh, yeah, we've been engaged. I'm not entirely sure what, but uh, I was told that someone was w potentially wounded over here. Uh, do you, I, I need to check. Yeah, we 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 got a wound we brought back from the from the east gates. They're just over we threw it in one of the one of these buildings over here. Um and they rushedly, uh hurriedly uh, bring you over to one of the buildings, uh Kanye, you come with. Mm -hmm. Um Kaiser, as they make their way over to one of these buildings, um, you're off on the, the, the cut somewhere on the edge. Um, you hear the very hurried Usain bolt footsteps of a uh, uh, of a, a group of something that are, uh, oh, you, there's, there's no grass over here. So yeah, that, they're subalterns. There's two groups of subalterns and they're rushing immensely fast towards uh, this these compounds over here at you all. One of them gets by you uh, quicker than you can react and just launches themselves at one of these, uh, uh, one of the people in this group of paramilitary and just starts ripping apart uh, their flesh. <laughs> it's like, oh my Ripping off that armor and this goes crazy and starts just ripping everything apart. And the other guy, like half focused on you, Kanye, and half focused on you, Gear, starts shooting wildly and shoots the one off. But the dude's pretty well named. Uh, Kaiser, there's uh, uh, the remaining two groups are headed towards y'all. Okay. Right Go ahead, Kaiser. Uh, mm, Kaiser's just gonna. Um... He's gonna. He doesn't have data plating, but he's gonna like pull out his data slate and text, because uh, he does this a lot while invisible. Just ha text with the little keyboard that's like to other dudes data plating to be like, oh, there's <coughs> two groups of them essentially. Uh, best run. Yeah, kind of just running right by you. I noticed not noticing you, just literally like almost shoulder uh, distance, uh, arm length distance, like running right by you. Oh yeah, he's stepping well out of the map. <laughs> yeah, he's he's basically. Oh. I think um, what Kaiser would text them is, uh, um, "Stay safe. I'll <laughs> Good I'll luck. handle the sims." <laughs> so he's gonna make his way into the building with the sims. All the all this okay, cool. is happening. Yeah, uh, you probably see a subaltern uh, veer off the path from uh, the group where your compatriots are at, where the other uh, group of paramilitary at, and it just runs directly at the the building that's closed and locked, and just just runs directly at it and hits it blankly, and then stands up and starts scratching at the door. Hmm. I just sort of tap the shoulder of the other guy. Contact, contact. Oh yeah, they they yeah they they start they start shooting. And then yeah, just sort of wave over to. Um to uh Veers is like er, gears get inside get inside yep yeah it is gonna do, 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 straight Let's carry the doctor <laughs> continue fire <laughs> the doctor. yeah gears um, in hysterics they're just like oh no i'm not made yeah. for combat i'm totally not a very seasoned combat medic <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the subaltern groups arrive at the compound here, and they start more so engaging with the group of paramilitary. You two are able to make it to um, one of the uh, one of the buildings. Um, it appears to be partially uh, unlocked, or it, they thought it was locked, but it's not. Um, you pop it open, and you see a, a large stockpile of uh, of stems that are uh, in crates, uh, kind of lining this uh, this building that's uh, fairly big. Bingo, Just I suppose. Watch right, the door. Uh, yep, shall do. I popped the, 
I was like, all right, uh, uh, I hand you my sidearm, actually. <laughs> right, I hand yeah, you my own sidearm. I was hoping for the rifle <laughs> figures, you know, big gun. No, no, what do you think I'm rigging to explode? <laughs> oh, the fuck? Okay, I, I'm watching the door with my pistol then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As you start to close the door, uh, Subaltern runs at it and it sticks its arm through as it closes on its arm. All right. Uh, um, if I can get a shot at its head, I will, but I'll, I'll be reticent Hold to on. shoot. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. It, you shoot it and it, it just falls flat. Nice. Um, Kaiser, uh, yeah, uh, what are you doing with that subaltern scratching at the door? Um, I think, so he's trying to get into the building and Wait, what do you mean? Someone just scratching at the door? Yeah, one just uh, veered off the path and ran directly into the door that's locked, and it fell. Like, it ran directly into it, fell down, got up, started scratching at the door. Oh, okay. If it's just the one, and I don't see any other coming towards it, I think no, he's going to... No, most of them. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, I think he's going to try and take it out with his, uh, his little whip thing. Your what? No, the monocle. Uh, yeah. Oh, your oh yeah yeah yeah. Sweet um yeah you, you do that and uh don't have to roll for it uh you take this up off and out easily it was half mangled anyways and it just kind of goes down. Yeah, and then he's gonna try and like use the whip to like break open the lock to see what's behind this door that subaltern wants. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, you open that door and uh, Satan's going to describe just this is a much larger, larger building. Rows and rows of uh, other materials, but um, definitely boxes mock, marked as uh, stems. Okay. Uh, did they ever tell us how we were supposed to destroy them or just like explosives, fire? No, just destroy them. Uh, you know, you can you can spend a bit of time if you want to shoot them all, or um, however you want to go about it. Yeah, I think he's just gonna use the whip to just like shatter all the glass. You just see like vials exploding out of thin air, basically. Yeah, you can spend a lot of time uh, doing this. Uh, does anyone have any explosives? I'm rigging the gun I brought with me to explode. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Oh, that sounds okay. fun. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, let's see. Um, all three of you, give me a check, and we'll just see um, uh, any relevant trigger that you have. We'll see uh, more, if the majority succeed, then uh, you guys succeeded. Um, sure, I guess stay cool would probably apply to this situation. Yeah, that applies. Alrighty. I have the perfect thing for this situation. Uh, any accuracy or difficulty? Fuck. Um, no accuracy or difficulty. Oh shit, that's two fails. No, this? that's a that's a big ah! oh, That's two fails. What's this um in regards to? Our this overall is, uh, success. Yeah, overall success. Yeah. Oh, just like any any <sighs> trigger. Um, what trigger do you plan on using? Um, I was thinking. Combining the stealth hard suit and take sort of now or actor scene unheard. Uh, I would say actor scene unheard is is the is the last one, but uh, it takes me out, takes someone out. I think that works. Okay. Would I get any bonus from the stealth suit? No. Okay. Knew we should have brought the thermite. <laughs> With the 17. Yeah. Um, yeah, Joseph, you spend your time uh, wrecking these things, um, tearing them out apart as many boxes as you can. You can find uh, some, uh, uh, some materials you could probably cobble together to rig a makeshift ex explosion, but it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, but uh, with that time that you take, uh, you're able to, to rig it. Um, and uh, you do hear some knocking on the exterior of this building, um, as you'd presume it's probably subalterns or something else on the outside. You hear some, the gunshots uh, outside the building seem to die down as you guys get the sense that the group that you just encountered here, the PMC, are probably taken out. Mm. And then uh, we'll pause on you guys. Key. Uh, so you failed. 
Um, the key, uh, I'll give you an option here. Um, as you're, uh, are you still there, Key? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Um, as you, um, are sitting out, sitting out there, uh, trying to find a good way in, you don't find a good way in. Um, but with the advancement of forces to the, to the West now, uh, you hear some comms come out from folks interior. They said, there, there's contact on the West too. It's a coordinated attack. And uh, the door opens, um, and you see a group of PMC um, uh, head out to the west to uh, render some support. Um, as the door opens, uh, you get a good look at what's inside, um, but there's also a, uh, a good bit of well-armored uh, PMC inside. And um, what you see inside is a big-ass size 2 mech that the drapes are, are falling off. And loading onto this mech is um, an individual named uh would you would uh you would probably have seen images of them their name is lotus mm. so this and, is lotus's uh, mech and the lotus looks like let's see if i can share this with you guys hmm. there we go let's see it changes oh here it goes i see it you guys see that? Yeah. Uh. I was expecting them to be much hotter. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I was expecting them to be yes. much scummier. Like either no scummier can... or that scummy hot. That's just like. Mm. <laughs> but no, yeah. they're just boring. <laughs> Lotus uh, loads up on that like, mess. This is real guy. life. <laughs> has its hard suit and uh as the cloth drops off this mech uh you see that it is a genghis pattern mark ii um mm. it is an old hysterian mech it has a fucking flame big ass <laughs> big ass flamethrower on it and it starts to march outward um what do you what do you all you guys think <laughs> at this point <laughs> non-binary people just really want genghis it's, it's just how it is <laughs> Non-binaries be like, you'll never guess what mech I'm using. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bravo's gonna, Bravo's gonna comment and, Bravo's gonna comment and say, How are things going down there? It's, look, it's getting pretty hot. Oh, it is hot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So, so what situation are my right now is, here? Um, uh... Uh, Lotus like, is on his mech. Yeah, Lotus is, to my understanding, Lotus is getting in their mech right now, right? Yeah, yeah, getting in their mech. They're like literally so taking the, the, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so it's not like I can walk into, walk in and get in the ne mech myself. You'll probably get shot. Yeah, I'd probably get shot. You could if, shoot if any, him? If anything, it's, if anything, it's a situation where uh, someone is already in control, like someone's already in the seat, so there's no place to sit. So, eh. um, I can go back to the boys, but currently they're in a building uh, that is surrounded and partially filled with, to my understanding, uh, subalterns who will rip you apart. <laughs> yeah, you look backwards and you see your, your, um, the rest of the team. Uh, there are subalterns crowding around the buildings, and there's a group of paramilitary making their way over there, firing their guns, taking them out. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So it's, it's a situation, so I can't really get to Lotus without putting myself in extreme danger. I can't really get Correct. to the boys without putting myself in extreme danger. I can get to the hole in the wall. I can just leave. Damn. It's times like this when I was, when I wish I was playing my more suicidal character who does not care about her own safety. But I'm not, I'm playing Qtepi and he's kind of a coward. Um, yeah, look at that. Can I try to invent or create? Can I try to invent or create uh, some kind some kind of tool to maybe put to maybe put uh, Lotus at a disadvantage, like maybe like jamming the door and then dipping? Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to since you guys technically uh, held your roles, I'm going to reward ingenuity. So um, you guys give me your best ideas and see what happens. That's a really good idea, and I would say yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. my that my thought is basically I want to, if these things are coming hot and heavy, 
Lotus, uh, if, if for no other reason, I don't think Lotus in uh, in this Genghis is going to have too much trouble with these subalterns, even if it is a fairly okay. coordinated attack. Um, yeah, no, it's a, it's a I don't delay. imagine this is going to be. Yeah, I don't imagine this is going to be the end of Genghis, or not Genghis, the end of a uh, Lotus. But I do imagine if I make things harder for Lotus, it it's a situation where when it comes time to go meet him at the at the at the table i have more that I, he needs me more than i need him kind of deal if that makes yeah. sense yeah yeah when you want to so, meet yeah. them at the table yeah yeah so yeah my thought right now is if i can uh may, maybe jam the door or set something up where the subalterns can get here earlier and then i'm immediately just beelining for the hole in the wall Interesting. Yeah. And no, I, if you want to give me a, we'll communicate this. <laughs> we get a, uh, uh, a message. It's like, yeah, I'm out of here. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's cute, happy. Zone clear. <laughs> Zone not clear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not gonna make you roll to to jam the door. I would say you're Lance and you have a, a, a you're pretty skilled. If you want to. Cobble something together to either like jam the lock on the door or the the electronic electronic lock on the door to make it where Lotus has to like literally blow that thing down to get through. Then I think that's totally within your abilities. All right, you've got a hard yeah. line to Kanye. Do you want him just to just shout code at you and you just punch it in? <laughs> it's a good scene. Kanye, Kanye, quick, give me that one code that I, I told you about when the freezer was jammed. You you mean? Yeah, that one. Oh, uh, that. Initiate subprogram 337B. Uh, remember <laughs> to please, please use your goddamn commas. Uh, okay, where does the <laughs> second comma go, though? Okay, for Christ's on. sake. He just, just starts punching something <laughs> into his data slate. Copy and paste. <laughs> surprisingly, uh, surprisingly, you enter that code in Kui, and it is perfect. It locks the door and it locks its like um, bolts and the door is sealed. Um, That's mildly concerning. Oh. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to say to Kanya as I start just booking it. Kanya, do you remember what I told you about power that can't be used? And I'm fucking gone. <laughs> I'm gone. Do you remember what I told you about a tactical about a tactical position? Run your ass, boy. <laughs> Uh, what are the rest of you three doing? Yeah, uh, so what exactly happens with uh, Kanye's little gun explosion plot? Does the magazine just kind of go off and not these, really do much? These battery cells are um, dead. <laughs> it definitely, no, it definitely destroys uh, uh, some of the um, uh, some of the, the packages in here, the stems in here, but it's not a, like a comprehensive solution. Um... Mm. Um, I have one last I ditch idea to blow it up. What's up? Let all the subalterns in. Let them destroy it. I don't know. That that is a point. Um, but they're more likely to kill decision. us first. Yeah, very true. I'm very true. <laughs> generally opposed to dying. Um, my last breakthrough idea is: Do we have a chemical formula for what's in these stems? That no, uh, you never got something... you never got a chance to study it. Then he's oh no. Can I never got really quickly study it? study it? Did they um, find did they find a uh, like a uh, hard drives or anything? I was like, yank? We... No, he didn't didn't do that. I would say you can spend a little bit of time to like evaluate it a little bit, but okay. uh, you're definitely gonna, you're gonna get main, attacked. Okay. My main question is, can I make something flammable? Yes, you can. Um, but you're gonna get attacked. Um Kanya, I did. You Look for um, a computer or terminal really quick. Just do a once over of the building while I do a quick test to see what basic stuff is in the thingies so I can figure out how to blow them up. Oh, yeah, they, said their, they said their comms are down. I could set up a limited hotspot with the Omni hook and see what things automatically connect to the network. Sure. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Right. Just set up a pineapple. Uh... <laughs> This is do a thing people do in real life, up? by the way. It's a little scary. Do you yes, want me to do a for figuring out the 
chemical yeah. makeup. Yeah, yeah, give me uh, a check. Give me a check. Uh, so Patch is apply medical knowledge to medicate or diagnose. Did cool. would that quite work? Yeah, that works. Cool, 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 cool. Scalpel, uh, pilot tactical. Patch. Hey, Ooh. that's what you like to see. Yeah, you get the uh, you get the uh, I get the for what this thing is composed of, and um, with uh, the right amount of time and the right amount of materials, this could definitely be made into like a makeshift uh, uh, explosive uh, uh, lubricant or something. Okay, like, turn, well, turns out he's actually like like seriously going out. Turns out he could make a fortune selling grenades. <laughs> explosive <laughs> lubricant. Hmm. Well, hey. <laughs> That sounds vaguely dangerous. That's nitro plus And right. I'm going to make some Molotovs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, so both of you are going to get it. Uh, wait, Connie, what do you want to do? Uh, essentially, because they said the comms were down, I was going to try and put up a <laughs> temporary hotspot and see what tries to automatically connect to it and then hack whatever tries to automatically connect to it. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh... This is yeah, a thing that people do you... in malls in the U.S. where they'll knock out the power, th they'll knock out the little, uh, they'll knock out the Wi-Fi box in a in a, uh, a shopping mall or something, and they'll put up what's called mm -hmm. a pineapple, uh, and it will actively steal the personal information of any phones that automatically connect to the Wi-Fi signal it puts out. Malls? This oh. happened in my fucking high school. <laughs> Great, now I'm never yeah. going to connect to by ever again. I know. Thank you. I know. Yeah, so I would say uh, yeah, you can do that, uh, but uh, again, time is uh, quite short here. Um, um, so the effect is, like, you probably want to get as much from it as you want to, as you guys are going to get sworn by subalterns shortly. Um, yeah. But yeah, so you can, you can put that up, and uh, the first thing that connects to it is uh, the HUD and the comms of uh, a Lotus. Uh, the first thing is, why are these fucking doors closed? Open the goddamn doors! I got some burning to do. Question. <laughs> really dumb question. <laughs> can, I, can I try to invade his map? <gasps> yeah, you can. you can try that. Uh, give me give me a roll at one difficulty because at this point subalterns have yep they're kicking their way the door somehow into the, yeah I uh, uh no Shaka by the way did you see my message uh no hold on let me see what's the king of Z defense <laughs> it's slow <laughs> that oh no. Yeah, I'll stand it at six, but uh, I'm guessing Lotus has two uh, levels in tech. Damn you! Oh, uh, yes, yes, key, yes. Um, so, um, Kanye, uh, you are blocked out and uh, blocked out, and you get a response message that says, "Nice fucking try." Wait, your name's Kanye. I remember that. And then it blocks you out. Her. How the fuck did you get my um, name off this thing? I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? With that, um... you forgot. You forgot to put tape on the little camera. The FBI is looking at you, bro. Wait, does that mean he thinks Kanye is a uh, middle-aged tan man with brown hair? Um, who knows? Um, somehow Lotus is has, has, has got some information. Um. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, so yeah, uh, time is short. Uh, Subalterns have made it into this compound where you guys are at, uh, all three of you are at. And uh, Kui apparently is headed to go get the car, um, the truck. Um, and uh, Nosimbo and Bravo be, uh, um, you, I guess off in the distance, you hear some, some gunshots from our deployment zone where it seems like the subalterns have made their way over to their position as well. Okay. Well, once uh, Gear has set decent amount of fire to the deeper parts of the room, um, they're going to grab another impromptu Molotov and um, wait for Kanya to be able to breach, well, unbreach, I guess, outwardly breach the door uh, that we have available so that 
they can finish the job and skedaddle. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to make you guys roll for this. I want you guys to narrate how you blast your way through these subalterns. Uh, Joseph, I guess you're probably sneaking your way out. I'm not sure, but um, you did some significant. Yeah, yeah, you did some did some significant damage to these buildings. Uh, one of the buildings are go up in flames, while the other uh, has uh, a few small explosions ring out from uh, Joseph's location. But uh, they're they're not completely destroyed. While you did put a dent in it. Um, narrate how you guys are making your way back your your hastily retreat. Um, so I guess Kanya uh, would be lead, because I've got a mult of a man. But um, my idea was basically Kanya kicks the door out, shoots a bunch of subalterns. Uh, I eat my Molotov, and then we both shoot our way the fuck out. If I can just show Bye. Essentially that, but essentially he's now looked down in his army. Well, I need a new one. Slings it instead of slinging it over his shoulder, like tightens the straps around his wrist and uses it as a shield and takes out his um his spear. <laughs> he's just uh, charging, I... charging the way he was, was taught. Asking, uh, I was asking Shaka if you guys needed it, if I could go grab the truck. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm assuming you got the truck. Yeah. Okay. Um, I imagine as you guys are fighting your way out, uh, a truck with no driver pulls up and Qtepi uh, uncloaks and he says, Kanya, I have taught you the lesson of fatality and the lesson of power. Now tell me, do you know which is faster, the cheetah or the antelope? And then he says, just says, get in. <laughs> I'm going to say the 4x4 four four truck. <laughs> um, here is a little bit giddy at the moment because of all the fire someone might notice someone might not who knows but that's what yeah. kanya would be concerned but that's perfect <laughs> um, that's perfect i i will say that i am hoping that the uh genghis gets to break out so that uh gear can fall in love with a mech <laughs> <laughs> um yeah just buddy how do you make your way out oh you just yeah. you just probably sneak out huh yeah, speaking of concerns, uh, Joseph just casually takes a stroll and there's probably like, everyone's probably wondering, where's Kaiser? We're gonna leave him because he can probably leave, make his way, find his way home. And there's like a bunch of some Kaiser always comes back home. And uh, he's like a carrier pigeon. Oh, G modded carrier pigeon. Uh, <coughs> And there's like some subalterns approaching, and they just like fall to the ground, like split in half. Um, Fuck. Like, like a clean razor has just sliced through them. And he's just um, grabbing the subaltern that's like struggling against him, like in a, like with a garrote. And uh, he decloaks, and they, he just like takes the monofilament fire and just like uh, pulls on it and just takes the, lets the body drop to the ground and throws the head off to the side. Fuck. <laughs> nice. So yeah, you all uh, hit your cinematic uh, uh, tactical retreats as Kui pulls up with the truck. Uh, uh, you all hop in and you hightail it uh, away from this compound. You hear large thuds uh, behind you um, through the, 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 the inside of this, uh, this truck. Um, looks like it's coming from the, the compound there. You make your way over here as you see Brava and uh, Nosimbo uh, taking out the final bits of these subalterns. Brava says, We've got, we're taking these two prisoners. I mean, that prison, we're taking these two militia members. I know them. I met them when I first made it here, uh, when we first arrived. Um, and uh, she asked to put them on the vehicle as well. Um, a loud explosion uh, happens from behind you guys uh, back towards the compound. And the rain stops. The fog also stops. And <gasps> what you good. see kicking Total down... Total fire! Kill! <laughs> what you see kicking down this door is a uh, explosive junt of flame, uh, thermobolic energy as uh, the door goes down and you see a large size two Genghis uh, pop out 
crushing some uh, some subalterns below, and uh, it just starts unloading flame across this compound and just just burning uh, uh, pretty much all the subalterns that are approaching. Uh, it seems like a lot of them start massing towards the the Genghis, but it is just fighting them off, stumping them, and throwing some of them uh, so far that they hit the edge of the wall and uh, continue to burn them all. Um, and uh, with that, Nocebo gets in the car. You guys get in the car. The two other former militia members have ever been get in the car. And y'all get the fuck out of here. Needless to say, during that last bit, Gia's eyes are very wide and they're glued to the window. <laughs> If I'm uh, if I'm cloaked, does does this mean that technically everyone in the vehicle is currently ghost riding the whip? Oh my god! Yeah. Fuck off! <laughs> ghost riding. That's the, whip. the worst thing you've ever said in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Do oh not god. challenge me. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, we'll call our session there. Uh, we picked up while well, it was a partial success. Uh, you guys got some information and stuff. Nice. Good. I can't nice, wait to nice. pry That's that cool. mech from his cold dead fingers. <laughs> I know. It's mine. I lay claim. <laughs> Look. Unfortunately, the thing's are... immune to burn. <laughs> Look, you have to get close in order to use flamethrowers. Uh, and that's where you're You haven't seen fails. the big flamethrower then. The big flamethrower oh, okay. goes 10. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it doesn't give a fuck about range. It's just like, yeah, everything's nah. on fire. Does not. Genghis's are, are brutal, um, so... Ah, oh, that's so fun. Um, <laughs> Can't wait for next session. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very disappointed that Lotus is not hot. Oh. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Lotus was hot, oh damn. <laughs> nah, he's pretty boring. <laughs> yeah, he's just... He just is. There's nothing that... Yeah, Lotus, yeah about looking at Lotus screams... <laughs> Mel. <laughs> and just Look at Lotus looks like World War II aircraft pilot. Yeah. From the, here. Specifically from jackets. Specifically from the fucking RAF. Um Yeah, pretty much. They deserve a much more uh Andro fucking can't Andrew tell Sherman. what gender they are. Just right. damn to I... them. I was expecting more like a scummy Johnny Silverhand vibe. Ah, uh, I still all think you, that. All of you send me a send me a character image. Uh, uh, can't get a can't get a makeover. This is due to some um, comments oh, on the Alvinet. Um, they have now taken plastic surgery. <laughs> gear no, local gear Lotus... fucking falls in love with the enemy because. Not only do they fucking have an obsession with fire too, they're also hot. Oh no! <laughs> the, 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 the Lotus we saw is just how Qtepi <laughs> perceives Lotus from afar. This is like, uh, <laughs> yes. It's, it's when you get person, close to them. Not in, if I got it, moving on. <laughs> it's when you get close to them that they really just talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry oh, if this yeah, makes anyone it's, uncomfortable. It's, 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 it's the Spider-Man meme of... Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was just saying, we can go ahead and, we go ahead and end it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Say goodbye to right, chat, everybody. Be getting away with uh, cutting the last, like, you know, five minutes of me gushing over stuff, but, you know... Yeah, no, <laughs> no I think that's no, staying. No, make him hot. Oh, also... <laughs> Our wonderful DM was on a podcast. You should go watch it. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. on a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Go Hell check. yeah. Everyone. Chill. Win with, Chill win with Dice. Mercy. Win with Dice. Go check that out. Hasta luego, yeah. folks. All right. See y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.